this delusion is that you guys will ever be able to compete with me, let go of it. Salute, MobTube. How is everybody today? Let's see. Miss Can't Be Wrong, M. Soretti, Mia Salazar, Sven Larson. Oh, oh, I skipped a bunch of names. Antonino. Johnny the Greek. Joe Root. Davis Dean. D.E. Brian Bozak, Slug. Uh, Bobby Barbarian. Don Berlin, my man. <laughs> Look at this guy. Don, you're a trip, bro. <laughs> Let's see. Ryan Morrison. Sean Landon Clark. Lucky Luciano. Rolex and race cars. Edward Everett. Jesse Roth. FBI. Steve Blair. Bong Funk MC. And Tears. I think that's it for now. So what's going on, everybody? Another Freestyle Friday. It is freezing out. I don't know what the weather is like uh, where you guys are, but Maron, the wind is insane. We lost the trash can. I don't know where it is. A couple of blocks away, I'm assuming. And guess what? I ain't chasing it. They can have it. Jenko Abandonda, how are you? Lefty Guns Pool Hall, Frank Fiorentino. Ah, look at this. We got an all-star cast in the chat. In Cali, it's 65. In Bafangul. I wish it was 65 here. You know how happy I'd be? Time to take another trip to South Florida, I think. I'm going to tell Shanna as soon as she wakes up. We're taking a plane tomorrow. We're out. Christmas weekend in SoFlo. Uh, Matty G, how you doing, my friend? What do we got, 63 people? What the fuck? Well, it's Friday, so that happens. And I haven't done a daytime show in... I don't know, other than addiction or recovery. A couple weeks, I think, right? Something like that. Oh, did I not shout out Cellar Door, a.k.a. Mustache P? I'm so sorry. 67 in Arizona. Wow. 71 in L.A. Sheesh. I just crossed the Verrazano Bridge at 60 mile uh, per hour winds. That was an experience. Uh, you're lucky you didn't get blown off. FBS, it's supposed to go down to four four degrees tonight. I know, Jesse. Yeah, I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled. And I got to go out for a little while, you know what I mean? But hopefully before it gets that cold. Oh, of course. Of course I do. Mustache Pete is a good dude. All around. Great person. Proud to call him a friend. Beck Brooklyn, what's up, bro? So, you pick the subject, guys. What do you want to hear me talk about? It's Freestyle Friday, you know? Off the top of my head, whatever. I'll tell you one thing. I was just listening to yesterday's um, Addiction and Recovery show. And boy, was I on a roll. Wow, what a rant. I'll tell you what, though. Even I found it kind of interesting. <laughs> I was like, well, is that the state of mind I was in yesterday? Yeah. Ray Schultz, 1999. Merry Christmas. Get a new garbage can. Thank you, Ray Schultz. Thank you. I will. Uh, you emailed him days ago. No answer. Oh, Brooklyn Rob? Uh-oh. That's a good question. I hope he's okay. 25 in Louisiana. Yeah, that's probably where we're about at, uh, at right now. Kevin Fahey, 449 Super Sticker. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you very much, bro. Appreciate it. Tony Pizza is, what is that supposed to be? Off the radar or on the radar? Uh, it's the jacket FBS heard from Shinebox. Yeah, Shinebox is cool. He's just taking a break. You know what I mean? Relaxing. He's doing good, though. Another good man. Proud to call him a friend. He threw me $100 yesterday, you know, as a donation with a Merry Christmas. Very nice of him. Nobody, nine ninety nine. Hello to everyone. You too, FBS. LOL. Oh, I come last? I see how it is. I see. I see. 
Uh, Batch Elder Street. Oh, good to see you, bro. FPS, what's the ha average house payment in PA? Um, I, I, you know, I don't really know average. I mean, this area, uh, as far as a mortgage, I'm going to say probably 1200 most likely. You know what I mean? If you live in a regular two-bedroom, three-bedroom house, two baths, whatever, little yard, probably 1200 If you rent a house, probably around the same. Well, no, nah, you know what? Cheaper. Uh, my last house that I rented was in 2016. Actually, 2015. Uh, and that was 825 And it was a nice house with a big yard. You know, it was in the city, but it was a nice house. Very nice. Three bedroom. Beautiful. Two bathroom. I love that house. Uh, so it's not expensive. It's not. You know what I mean? It, it's not expensive at all. Of course, the minimum wage in PA is seven twenty-five. dollars so. But, you know, unless you're a dishwasher in a restaurant or something, you'll be making more than that. Mortgage rates are now about 6%, which translates to about 600 monthly per 100,000 of mortgage. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what I was saying. You figure the average house is about 200 grand. You know what I mean? That's what this house was appraised for last year. Uh, and the rent here, we pay 11.75 a month. You know, not the rent, the mortgage, uh, 11.75 a month. So, you know, Don Berlin, Santa, this, oh, we saw that one. Let's see. I'll read it, though. Uh, Santa of the South, with grim news, all of Santa's deer are dead, all done froze up, as Josie would say, El Morti, uh, as it is negative nine in the Blue Ridge Mountains. Whew. Wow. Uh Average 1500 in Bucks County for a mortgage, not too bad. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, it's, uh, you know what I mean? It's not bad. And you can live in a beautiful house, you know what I mean? In a nice, quiet, suburban area. So, and life is easy here, guys. Let me tell you, life is easy. It really is. Like, uh, especially with these trips we take, you know, we go to Florida, we go to back to New York and it's like fucking miserable you know really like uh, i love south florida i love it but the traffic and shit would make me insane it would make me crazy doesn't mean i don't uh, still kind of want to move there but that's because uh, i'm a beach person and, you know i love the warm weather but the traffic is is out of control I mean, you can't get any fucking wear in a decent amount of time. Here, you don't deal with that shit. You get to work in no time in the morning. You get home in no time in the afternoon. Barely any traffic. And and even the traffic that they have here, like you'd fucking, if you're from New York or something, you would just laugh. It's nothing, you know? So it's a, it's a good place to live. I used to hate it. Uh, not so much anymore. But I'll tell you this, this, if you're somebody who likes, uh, like, this is the way I am. This is why I like big cities. I like action 24 hours a day. Like, that's the thing about New York. You could go out at 2 in the morning. There's fucking restaurants, open stores, everything. Here, you ain't going to get that. There's a lot of nightclubs and bars. Don't get me wrong. They close at 2. And that's it. You know what I mean? And as far as restaurants and shit. 10, 11 at night, they're closed. So that's the one thing that sucks. Rent here is about 1200 plus a month, depending if it's an apartment or townhouse, et cetera. Where are you exactly, uh, Miss Campy? Lee and Ma Roach are deniers of our success. Success denialists also uh, deny lots of other facts they don't like. Oh, that's what they do, yeah. Absolutely. Wait, what did that say? Worst traffic in the U.S. is D.C. What a shithole. Well, I wouldn't doubt it. Yes, Matty G., I got it all done. It's all done. I'm so happy. Uh, I got a couple things I got to do today, but 
nothing Christmas related. It's all done. And Shanna got off work this morning and went to the mall and did a what was left, you know. So it's it's over. Although I do feel like spending more money on Shanna, so who knows what will happen. Uh, Batchelder Street. I'm in Long Beach, Long Island, and the winds are so strong they closed the bridge that connects Long Island to Island Park, the L-I-R-R, Long Island Railroad, uh, runs over it too. So all commuters, Island Park, last stop. Wow. Matt B., 1999. Thank you again for the daily entertainment. Happy holidays, everyone, and thank you, FBS. Thank you, Matty B. I appreciate that, bro. I don't know if you ever uh, donated before, but thank you. Very nice of you. I'm going to, I'm just letting everybody know now, uh, Shanna is off for the next couple of days, therefore so am I. I mean, maybe not in the daytime. Uh, what I would like to do, I'm not, I'm not coming on tonight. What I would like to do, though, since a lot of these guys are in the chat, if they're, you know, not at a Christmas party or with family or whatever, uh, I would love to have a show tomorrow night, Christmas Eve, with all of our friends, you know what I mean? Everybody. I'm talking JC, Lefty, Common Sense, Gunsmoke, Mustache Pete, Frank, Howie, Anthony, everybody. And I'm sure I left some people out. That's what I would like to do. We did something similar to that last year. I'd like to have Jimmy on too if he's free. I think it would be an awesome show. You know, Bill Catolo, that would be fantastic if he could come on. So we'll see. Uh, maybe my Christmas wish will come true. And I'll provide some real good entertainment for you on Christmas Eve. But I don't think I'll be on tonight, and I might not be on tomorrow in the daytime either. FBS, I got my wife a pair of Nike 270s. Pretty nice. Oh, nice. Yeah, I ordered a pair today. I I, I can't lie to you. I ordered uh, the um, UNC Jordan 13s came out this morning, and I wasn't going to do it. But here's the problem, guys. I think I'm addicted to sneakers. I'm, well, a matter of fact, I know I am. And I can't stop no matter what I do. I can't. I, I promised myself I was not going to buy those sneakers today. But I had to do it. I had to do it. So they're on their way. Am I cooking a turkey for Christmas? No. No, 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 no. We're going to go probably to Shanna's parents or to my brother's or both. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I ain't cooking shit. Uh, yay, Mob Tube Christmas party. That's what I want. Yeah, I want a, a Mob Tube Christmas party tonight. Oh, SoFlo, of course. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> See, I told you I'd forget somebody. Yeah, SoFlo. You can't do a show without SoFlo. Not a Christmas show. That's for damn sure. Back, my friends sold their homes in Brooklyn for $1.5 million and bought a home in my neighborhood for seven hundred k and still had money left over. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's the thing. You know what I mean? Like, um, uh, when we moved here, the house in Glendale sold for, I think, 300000 okay? My parents uh, got a house here, a beautiful fucking house. I mean, beautiful, big yard, you know, um, fucking uh, three bedroom, two and a half baths, just a beautiful fucking house uh, for 90 grand, you know, so that's good shit. <laughs> it's amazing what you could do when you leave New York. My, my aunt left New York. She left Bensonhurst and went and got a fucking, you know, beautiful house in Florida for 250 grand. She's been there for years now. My grandmother's house at 115 Bay Ridge Parkway sold for 650000 in, I think, 05. Yep. MRE's family stopped inviting him for Christmas because they got tired of the same matching sheets as gifts each year. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Get the full panel, then drop the link for LC3 on Christmas Eve roast. Uh, that would be funny. Merry Christmas, FBS and MobTube. Same to you, Joseph Montanero. 11th Avenue Podcast. There he is, my man, Bill Catolo. I hope you're feeling well, my friend. Good to see you. 
And hopefully you could join us tomorrow night for even if it's just to stop by and say hello for the Christmas Eve mega show. You know, that's what it's going to be. Um, FBS, my wife uh, got me the Nike Air Max 2090s. Nice. That's what's up. Oh, that's cool, Common Sense. That's what's up, bro. Even if you uh, if you can, just click in and say what's up and bounce. Whatever you can do. We'd like to see it. But if not, it's all good. We can get Pee Wee to come on and reveal the names of all mobsters involved in unsolved murders and crimes for old times' sake. <laughs> that's hilarious. Tomorrow night, I'll be doing the whole Italian... Uh, Christmas Eve fish feast with my family, but I'll try to tune in. All right, bro. Now, I understand a lot of people are going to be busy, but, you know, uh, we'll try to do one on Christmas night, too, you know? Who knows? Maybe you guys can make it on one of those. I like that idea, a mob tube Christmas spectacular, kind of like a Festivus for the rest of us. Yeah, Seinfeld. For all people who aren't around a lot of people, mob tube is here for you. That's right. We are. Carmine S, 1999. Merry Christmas, FBS. Merry Christmas to you and your family as well, Carmine. Thank you very much for that. Don Berlin, that said, Chris, for our boy Lee Cole to go freeze dry, uh, he could be outside right now for a week while nude, and with all his blubber, he would probably still be sweating. Is that graphic? A little bit, but yeah, very uh, accurate sounding, yeah. <laughs> he has got a lot of padding, you know what I mean? Don, we'd love to have you on, too, tomorrow night if you can make it. What did I just get? Holy shit, I just got a $75,000 donation. Uh, Lee can now, um, you know, off himself. Just kidding, guys. Looking good, Bill. Good to see you with a smile on your face, bro. All right, let me see, let me see, let me see. I got something over here. Uh, who is this? Uh, Antonino, my man, $25. He said... Merry Christmas to you and your family. I won't be able to watch tomorrow night, but we'll catch you on the next one, Antonino. That's cool, bro. Maybe you can watch the replay the next day, whatever, Christmas Day. Uh, but thank you for the $25, bro. That's awesome of you. And uh, Merry Christmas to you and your family, bro. Merry Christmas to all of you and your families. I hope you guys have a phenomenal holiday weekend with family and friends. I hope you get some good gifts. I hope you give some good gifts. Uh, and just have the best time ever. Eat as much good food as you can and then worry about it later. That's what holidays are for. Bill has penciled us in. <laughs> I hope so. Wait, what do you say? Love you all, my fellow G's. I'm going to make myself available tomorrow. Oh, that's awesome, bro. Thank you, man. Thank you, Bill. That means a lot to me. Look at you guys. Damn. Oh, Beck Brooklyn. That's very nice. $20 for this is for you taking care of your mom. Bro, that means a lot to me. Thank you, Beck. Thank you very much, bro. And shout out to you and Blair. I hope you guys have a fantastic Christmas. Michael Hensley, $9.99. Merry Christmas, Mob Tube. I'll be watching. Awesome, Michael. Shit, you could join us if you want, bro. We'll have fun. We'll have a good time. I'm telling you. It'll be great. Just like last year. Trevor Smith. 10 pounds. Merry Christmas, bro, to you and all the family. Same to you, Trevor Smith. Thank you, bro. Mob Entertainment Group. All the FBI had to do was buy Pee Wee a few rounds of drinks, and they solved every outstanding mob crime in Philly. <laughs> Fucking Pee Wee. Pee Wee talking about a murder that a guy who's very, very active and still on the street committed. Oh, my God, bro. You know, I, listen, I, I loved that guy, Pee Wee, at first. I thought he was a good dude. You know, I still got love for him. You know what I mean? We, we had dinner together. You know, our wives met each other. We had a good time. I think Pee Wee drinks a lot. It's just my opinion. And Pee Wee, if you're watching, if I'm out of line, I apologize. 
But I think that's what it is. And I think, listen, I recognize things. Rambling and saying shit you probably shouldn't say. I recognize it. I've been there. You know what I mean? So either way, Pee Wee, you know what? I wish you and um, your wife a Merry Christmas. Yeah, and your family, of course, your daughters as well. Uh, even though uh, we went our separate ways, so to speak. Uh, I can't say you didn't make some mob tube memories, Pee Wee. <laughs> FPS read Chicky's tiny bullies comment. Uh, the fuck is it? Chicky's tiny bully. MRE is hanging out at the gym with a mistletoe hat, <laughs> chatting up some muscular dudes. <laughs> Philly Chronicle framed out a closet in a spare room in our house for $200, and it added 30 k to the uh, selling price. Wow. Because it was considered another bedroom with the closet. Oh, shit. That's awesome, bro. Wow. That's fucking great. Uh, $15 for Mustache Pete. Thank you, bro. Thank you so much, man. You guys are awesome. Look at you hooking me up. Uh, on Friday, I usually don't make a fucking thing. Let me see what else we got. Oh, Lee Cole is having a heart attack watching FPS's panel light up like a Christmas tree. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's stressed. He's stressed. But I don't, listen, Lee is a, a pretty alone, I think. I don't think Lee exactly has Christmas worries, you know? Oh, shit. Hold on, guys. Damn, you guys are fucking awesome, man. Thank you so much for this. Let me see what I just got. Uh, Jay Dunn, uh, 1205, for Merry Christmas to you and your family. Thank you very, 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 very much. Uh, and Merry Christmas to you and yours as well. You're awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Um, let's see. Yeah, I don't think what I was saying is, uh, Lee, you know, and listen, I don't take joy in this. You know what I mean? I think, well, all right. I think Lee is alone for a lot of good reasons. But being alone makes Christmas uh, two things, miserable as a motherfucker, but yet easy. <laughs> I don't think Lee is worried about buying gifts, you know what I mean, or, you know, Christmas shopping at all, doing any of that, cooking, none, nothing, nothing. You know, he'll probably cook like a quarter inch thin ribeye. He'll char broil it in a fucking uh, scratched up frying pan and try to be like stand up guy. Guys, if I ever come on bragging about my steak <clears throat> and I show you that. Just um, just either either get me committed or uh, just stop watching me because I've lost my goddamn mind. Fucking Anthony Arlotta comes on here with a fucking three-inch steak this big. <laughs> and Lee drops a video with a little a little sliver of ribeye. <laughs> what was that, Lee? A fucking appetizer? Holy shit. What were you doing with that steak, bro? Come on. That ain't filling you up, my friend. No. What was that for Polly? Oh, it was for Polly. It was a snack for Polly. Not even a meal, just a snack. Fuck out of here. Unbelievable. <laughs> Pee Wee lied about going to Staten Island and trying to meet BK once you lied. Nothing is then believable. I agree, bro. He did. BK was there. Pee Wee was not. You know what I mean? And that's why I say Pee Wee, if he was sober that night, he wouldn't have said that because he would have known he wasn't going. But he gets drunk and he starts lying. He starts saying things like, I'll be at uh, wherever the fuck that was BK was supposed to meet. The gym or whatever. Um, you know, and he'll, he'll make up lies like he's got an interview with Sarma waiting for me, like things like that. It's like, come on, man, don't don't bullshit. Because then you make me look bad too. You make me look bad because I got you on here and you're fucking lying all over the place. And we don't do that on this side. They do that. Tommy B, FBS, sorry to bring this up, but why is Magelio Montagna? Oh, yeah, I think that's, yeah. Attacking your mother, FBS, he is out of control. He's saying horrific things. Sorry for this news. Man. Well, that is fucked up news, Tommy B, but I already knew about it. It's all good. Uh, listen, 
There was somebody in Lefty's chat named Nightmare 2 the other night talking this shit. He was like, uh, how come you don't attack Eyelight for saying horrible things about your family, but you attack Angel? It's all about views. No, I'll tell you why. Because Angel is Angel, okay? No matter how much we may have uh, lowered her profile and exposed some things about her, like she's not even the, the daughter of John Gotti, um, she's still somewhat relevant, and she's someone I know personally. Not personally like we met in real life, but I mean, she's somebody I've, I've had uh, conversations with on the phone, you know, all kinds of text messages back and forth for, for months and months, thousands of text messages. It's somebody that I feel like I know. You know what I mean? And it's also somebody on a larger platform. A lot more people are hearing what she's saying. I like is a troll, period. He's a troll. And if I respond to that video he made, then what I'm telling everybody, listen, by responding to that video he made about my mother, I am then telling everybody, oh, you want my attention? You want me to talk about you? Just make a horrible video about my mother and that'll become the standard. So you got to show guys like I like, I'm just not going to respond to you. You got to understand this dude has been trying to get on my show for the longest time. You've seen it. You've seen him come on here and be all nice to me and try to tell stories and shit. Uh, you've seen me battle with him. He wants me to talk about him. Look at his channel. He's, he's It's the same formula Stack started using. You know, talk bad about FBS and it'll get me some views. Fucking iLight has his cash up, cash app up just like the rest of us. You know what I mean? There's a money incentive in this for him. He made that horrible video about my mother, but you know what? My mother's fine. She's fine. She's sick. Don't get me wrong, but you're lying too. You're, you're lying. You're talking about um. Uh, she's on oxygen. No, she's not. She was never on oxygen unless she was in the hospital. You're saying she's dying or, or she already died. Like, what do you mean? You know what I mean? I hang out with my mom every day for a little while. Um, it's stupid. You're going to bash my mother. And I like, I could do the same, bro. I could come on here and, and bash Gail. You know what I mean? I could bash Gail Neuendorf all over the fucking place. I have pictures of her with, you know, looking ghetto with the tattoos on her titties and all that shit. And I could fucking just roast the shit out of them. But uh, I don't really want to roast a, a person's mother. <laughs> I mean, like, I really don't. I don't like getting into that. Plus, I like as a mental patient. You know, he came on here and he said it's wrong. He said this. The video is still up. Why would you go after Victoria? It's wrong to go after somebody's daughter. Why would you talk about Angel's family members? It's wrong. I did that to you, but then I took all the videos down. And then a week later, he was uh, giving uh, Chicago Muscle props for making a video about Shana being gangbanged by black guys. And then now he's making a video about my mother. So it's like, all right, bro. And not only that, but I'll tell you the real thing. When somebody makes a video like that about your mother, it can't be handled with words. Hopefully someday I'll run into highlight and I'll slice him up and beat him with a fucking baseball bat. You know what I mean? That's what you do when somebody makes a video like that. I can't hurt Angel. I can't put my hands on Angel. She's a fucking woman. All right, so if Angel is trashing someone in my family, I'm gonna fight her back verbally. I like this is not something men do. You don't you don't trash a person's mother like that, and then uh, the other person just does it back to you, and then it's you know all gone and uh, said and done. And no, 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 no. So you know, hopefully someday I'll run into the guy, and I don't care how tough he thinks he is. I would beat I like into the fucking ground. You know what I mean? Period with a heart condition. One fucking left hook, first of all, I'm knocking him the fuck out. I knocked out guys uh, twice my fucking size. With, I got a vicious left hook. Okay? <laughs> I'll fuck I light up. And that'll be it. Then it'll be done. But I'm not going to, uh, you know, uh, teach the, the, the whole fucking YouTube that if you want FBS to talk about you, you just trash his mother or his wife. or something. No, no, no. I fight with Angel like that because me and Angel had a friendship and now we go back and forth with each other. You know what I mean? But I'm not I'm not getting into this what I like. I like come see me, bro. You know my fucking address. No cops, no nothing. Just me and you, bro, in the street. Otherwise, you know, whatever. You can keep talking shit, but I'm not gonna do shows about you, bro. I'm not gonna give you the satisfaction. 
You talk about a guy's mother like that, and, you know, there's going to be a different type of repercussion. But at the same time, guys, I'll be honest with you. I mean, this is words coming from a madman. So fucking what? The guy he thinks he's a Mason. He thinks he's a Crip. He thinks he's in the Bonanno family. He's Puerto Rican and German, but he thinks he's Italian. You're not dealing with a normal individual here. There's no reasoning with him. There's no nothing. You know what I'm saying? That's what, even like Angel now. I'll talk about her on the shows every now and then, whatever. If people are on and her name comes up, I might bash her a little bit, whatever. But I'm not going back and forth with Angel anymore. I learned my lesson. There's no point. But I like a thousand times worse. I like as a despicable human being. Look what he said about, well, Bofa didn't even have a fucking daughter, it turns out. But look what he said uh, about a little girl. You know? Uh, there's there's no uh, lengths that he won't go to, except for actually coming to see you. He won't do that. I like ain't doing shit to nobody. You know, he's he's just got to come on here and play computer tough guy. I don't listen. I don't, bro. You think I'm impressed by the fact that you killed somebody? You, bro, you you were you were breaking up a fight or whatever. You had a knife in your hand. You probably didn't even try to stab him. Big fucking deal. We've all shot at people and done stuff like that. We could have killed people too. We just got lucky. They didn't get hit or they didn't die. It's no big. It doesn't make you a tough guy. You didn't beat the man to death. You used a knife. You know what I mean? So whatever. It's as simple as that. You know what I'm saying? I know guys like that. I, I've, I've been around these clowns, these wannabes my whole fucking life. You know what I mean? The guy, everything about him is a wannabe. He's Puerto Rican and German. He wants to be Italian. Okay? He's a guy who's never had any real affiliations with any type of organized group or gang. But he claims to be a crip. He claims to be a mason. He claims to be a fucking, uh, uh, not like Mason fits in with these other two, but you know my point. He's always something different. He claims to be a, 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 an associate of the Bonanno family. He did a video once talking about how his mother raised him, telling him that one day his finger's going to get pricked, meaning one day he's going to get made. What the fuck are you talking about, bro? You're, you're out of your mind. You're not even, you're, you're at, we went through your ancestry, bro. You're at tops. 12% Italian. Plus, you got to look at what, what uh, I like does. You know what I mean? Like, there's other people that have a beef with I like. He doesn't attack them. He, attack, he attacks me. Why? Because I'm the biggest show, and he feels like it can benefit him. So that's another thing he's a wannabe. Uh, you know, another thing I, I guess you could say he wants to be. He wants to be like one of us with one of these shows that gets a lot of views and makes money. And he can't. His show sucks. Nobody wants to listen to him. He gets fucking 10 views on a live. He makes no money. So I know what highlights all about. So this dickhead nightmare, too. There's your answer, jerk off. Why do I fight with Angel and not I like? Because I can fight with Angel verbally. I can't put my fucking hands on Angel. I like a man. You know what I mean? When somebody talks bad about your mother like that, you don't handle it with words, but you don't sit here and fight back with them. You know what I mean? Verbally. That's like saying, it's almost like saying what you did is okay as long as I can verbally attack you back. It's not okay. You know what I mean? So that's it. You know? Uh, even MRE, you know, I fought back with him over attacking my family, but same thing. When MRE does it, uh, you know, three, four thousand people are going to see it. You might need to come back at them in some way. When I like does it, 11 people are seeing it. You know what I mean? It's like uh, that's why he does those videos, because he needs to put my name in the title. So there's a lot of reasons why I'm not going to give that any life. You know what I mean? There's a lot of reasons. I Listen, I've built too many troll channels. That's one thing they say about me that's true. I've built too many troll channels by fighting back with these people. you got to get to a point where you fucking figure out that they're not worth talking to anymore. They're not, you're, you're, you're only doing yourself harm by, uh, by answering them. You know what I mean? That's all there is to it. So, anyway... Give me a second. Uh, 
I'm not going to say your whole name, but Peter, uh, 1754, he said, it's for top shelf liquor. All right, listen, I that might be a reference to a movie or something. I'm not sure because uh, it is in quotes. Obviously, I don't drink, but thank you very much for the 1754, Peter. And I think you're a new donor, so thank you, thank you. Oh, my God, Miss Can't Be Wrong. You ain't but a steak is a luxury for, for Lee. You know what I mean? When you eat SpaghettiOs out of a can every fucking night. I'll try and come on if Michael Hensley will come on. We represent the few in the proud wing of the military and DOD wing of mob tube. It's Hemars in the sky for the other side. I'm not sure what that means, but sounds good to me, Don. Chris, please tell Howie to try to be free tomorrow night, too. I remember seeing Howie by Nikki's Club with Andrew Dido. Is that supposed to be D. Donato? I'm not sure. All right. Yeah, I will. Uh, hopefully, I'll talk to him later. He might even be in here. Let's hook Trio and Pee Wee onto a polygraph and see which machine uh, explodes first. <laughs> Be free tomorrow too. Cigars, nice. Is uh how he how he was in here? Is he still in here? Eye liar is a scumbag. Or oh, I'm sorry, is scum of the earth miserable clout chaser? His breath fogs up the camera. It's so foul. He hates to see people do well. He badmouths vets. He needs to be sterilized for a service to humanity. Yeah, that's the thing. Before the video about my mother, he did a video about how me and Casparos are stealing money. Uh, you know, through that fundraiser. By the way, that fundraiser lasted as long as that show lasted. It was over after that. The the, the Gotti picture, you know, uh, was sold, so to speak. Um, and all the donations went straight to uh, straight to Wounded Warriors. It didn't even touch our fucking hands or our accounts. So I, I didn't I didn't answer that one. So it pissed him off. So he did a video about my mother. You know what I mean? It's this is who he is. FBS has 178, same number of teeth Highlight has. Yeah, no shit. Why would Highlight have medical knowledge on your face? It's stupid. You just do a video and say your mother. That's like I could come on and be like, Highlight, your mother is dying of AIDS. Highlight's mother is dying of AIDS. She's got full-blown AIDS because she's a fucking whore. You know what I mean? She's a fucking uh, a German woman who spent her whole fucking life looking for brothers. And Puerto Ricans and shit. That's her fucking taste. So she got ran by uh, multiple members of each fucking race. Okay. Until she fucked up and wound up getting AIDS. And now she's dying. Oh, too bad for the cunt pig. I could do the same thing. Great job, right? Highlight. Wow. It takes a lot. Tattoo titties. Uh, bad look for moms. Be word. <laughs> FBS, we know he can't pull your hair, but watch out. He bites. Yeah. Well, that's another thing, bro. Let me tell you something. Uh, there's a certain type of woman I have no fucking respect for. And I think I just described that type of woman. I'll be there. I don't give a fuck who likes it. You know what I mean? If you're if you're a white woman and, and you chase the brothers and shit like that, and, and uh, that's your taste and that's who you want to be with and Puerto Ricans and all that other shit, and you, you take on that accent and you start acting like that, you're a fucking clown. So don't talk about my mother I like, okay? Don't. Because your mother is what? She's got to be 60 and she's still talking like that. She sounds fucking ridiculous. Ridiculous. What up, Tony Soflo, my man? Rick Slick, your mom is a bitch just like MREs. <laughs> what the fuck? Who's Rick Slick? You mean Mike Slick? Is there somebody I don't know about? Yes, D. Donato. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Let me see. I'm going through. I like mother sleeps with his friend. Probably. You know what I mean? Like, that's why I'm like, I'm, I'm fucking, I'm going to sit here and argue with absolute trash. Absolute. You guys heard how I mom talks, right? She is German. 
Her last name is Neuendorf. I've never even, that's so goddamn German. Hitler was shocked. He was like, German, I'm sorry. Hitler was like, holy fuck. I never heard a name that German. Jesus Christ. You're German. And you're, you're, you're fucking, uh, you, you talk like you're straight out of fucking Harlem. You sound ridiculous. You look like a clown. You sound like a clown. You're ghetto as fuck. You know what I mean? Just like I like. I like this fucking German and Puerto Rican. He sits there with an Italian flag behind him. And he, and he talks all day about being Italian. And he talks like he's one of the brothers. You know, he talks like a black dude. Sounds ridiculous. I like, does your mom work? Oh, yeah, she works on her back. Nico Cena, my man. How you doing, bro? I like's channel was a troll hangout. Now the trolls turned on him. It's pretty much dead. Yeah, nobody gives a fuck about that, dude. Yeah, it certainly is. It certainly is. When I when I saw this guy's ancestry and, and names of his family members, and guys, don't forget, this guy's name is not Magelio. It's not Magelio Montagna. It's not Magelio Montenegro. It's John. His name is John Montanez. So he is literally John Eilight. Yeah, yeah. There's John Eilight and John Eilight. <laughs> His name is John Montanez, guys. He's got a Macari page. Google John Montanez and Macari. You'll see it. Where he sells fucking strange Korean toys. Right? That's what he does. New dwarf. FPS, I noticed yesterday on Lee's mugshot that he is 5'5". Five, five. If you could have been here and seen my face when I seen that. When was Lee's mugshot shown? You, when was that, Miss Can't Be Wrong? Where, where did they show it? But yeah, he is short. John Montanez, the scumbag, like his ugly bitch of a mother. There's my man, SoFlo. I agree. Come on, man. Like, you didn't talk about people's fucking moms. Fuck out of here. My mom is a goddamn beauty queen compared to yours. And guess what? She knows who she is, and she acts like who she is. You know? My mom's never uh, uh, been a ghetto hood rat skank. You know what I mean? Who just wants to get ran through, have kids by all different men, not get any fucking child support, live on welfare, and raise a scumbag who kills a kid at 17 years old. You know what I mean? Fuck out of here. Talk about moms. I like don't make so flow make your bitch ass famous. Yeah. So I like's mom is a jerk. Well, so flow, I'm going to tell you guys the truth. So flow asked me. He saw that video. He said, "What do you want to do? How do you want to handle this guy?" I said, "Fucking ignore him." So flow, am I wrong? I said, "Ignore him. There's no point." And I mean, he's a clown. He's clout chasing. That's all he's doing. That's exactly what I said to So flow. Cuz he has my back. So flow has my back and I have his. You know what I mean? And we both know that. So he was about to attack. I was like, bro, don't even worry about it. So Eilight's mom is a German woman that wants to be Puerto Rican, and Eilight is a half German and half Puerto Rican man that wants to be Italian. Exactly. And his mother talks about being Italian, too. She doesn't have a fucking drop, I don't think. I have to check. She might be the one that uh, she might. You know what? I'll take that back. She might be 25%. Because he's tops 12.5%. I think his his dad is full Puerto Rican. I got to check the ancestry. I like trying to be relevant. That's all it is. Baby hands Cole has been getting away with crimes. They keep thinking it's an eight-year-old scamming and doing petty crimes. <laughs> Drinks cognac out of a plastic cup, yeah. And he probably pronounces it congiac. Every time he has issues, he issues he goes live live from mommy's house. Yeah. He had his mom call Tony Soflo and ask him to leave him alone. I mean, come on. You know? Lee is 5'5 five, five and 450. Where did you see that mugshot yesterday, though, Miss Can't Be Wrong? I'm curious. 
You tell Soflo attack, he won't stop. <laughs> she's Italian by injection, yeah. Well, by injection, she's black, she's Puerto Rican, she's Dominican, she's Cuban, she's Colombian. You know what I mean? Everything but white. <laughs> That's by injection. By DNA, she's white. Clout Neuendorf, yeah. I laid as a half German, half Puerto Rican, and half the size of a normal man. Yeah, he is fucking scumbag, midget fuck. Imagine SoFlo, FBS, Gunsmoke, Gene B, and Howie all showing up to your house for a house call. <laughs> yeah. FBS, I think Gunsmoke has it up. Oh, okay, 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 good. All right. Yeah, Lee hit me with a uh, privacy complaint for that, and I just let it go. I should have just cut the part out. Wait a minute. Yeah, I think they took that video down. I don't, you don't get a strike or anything. I said, fuck that. I ain't doing anything with it. And then Josie hit me with a privacy complaint for her mugshot. <laughs> a lefty has the picture of Lee? Dim Light's mom looks like the old Matt. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Mason Zelda. FBS. All right. Yep. Um, hold it up on his show, I mean. Oh. Oh, had it up on his show. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. 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 I'll drop the link uh, if anybody wants to come on and talk a little shit for Freestyle Friday. I think Nadu is the only short motherfucker that is cool on here. Am I wrong? Listen, I'm short, so I can't talk shit. You know what I mean? I'm a fuck. I'm like five one. You know what I mean? I'm five one and two hundred and thirty seven pounds. You know what I mean? I'm fucking. I'm tiny, so I can't talk shit about anyone. Still bigger than I like though. Should mugshots be fair use? Yes, yes. Yeah, not only fair use, but it's a public fucking, you know, it's public record. It's not a private picture whatsoever. I could put it back up. I can put it on my community. You can't do shit about it. You know what I mean? But I made my point on that show. Uh, Merry Christmas, Robert Urick. 5 1. Yeah. I'm yeah, let me tell you right now, short guys are always the ones with vicious uppercuts. Oh, of course. Absolutely. I dropped the link. Anybody joining? Was it the right link? Hold up. It probably wasn't. Motherfucker. There you go. There you go. Guys, you want to see what I did? Check this out. Sometimes you're out Christmas shopping. Next thing you know, you come across something you want, you know? I had the high tops, but I haven't had the low tops in years. I'm going to put the, the white fat laces in them, but these are the only ones I had. Look. Got the fat laces and the black ones. I saw these the other day. I was like, yeah, I got to get both. Superstar. Oh, yeah. Here's SoFlo. Bro, what's up, my beautiful brother? I love it on my heart. Was, are those Adidas, bro? Yeah, Dita shell tops, bro. My Let's Adidas. Go. My Adidas. My Adidas. <laughs> hey, we're, we're over here at, uh, at Newman Markets. Is it, what's it called? I always get the uh, name. Newman. I always say Newman. I don't know why I say Newman. I don't know why I say that because I'm a new man. I mean, you date new man, the regular guy. But, uh, but uh, yeah, we're here at, new, at Newman Markets, a place that Island has never been, never, ever in his life. Uh, he probably never will be. <laughs> <laughs> no, <Nah>, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? But he yeah, bro. Marshalls. 
Yeah, or yeah, yeah, or or, or, or Ross when they have super duper uh, specials and deals. But you, bro. you want to know something, bro? Do you remember the day that I like put a picture up of my mom and started saying some of the most vile stuff about my mom because he was trying to get my attention? Yeah. You know I mean, I waited. I actually waited a couple of months till till uh his mom him, him him until he came on your show, right? And then uh um. His mom, his mom showed her a beautiful face. You know, I mean, she is, she's a very beautiful woman. I have to, I have to admit, she looks a little bit like somebody on Sesame Street. But, you know, apart from that, she's a very beautiful lady. I'm pretty sure that uh, she's. Oh, don't freeze up now. Oh, fuck. Am I back? Yeah, you know, uh, let me see. You're cutting out. You're cutting out. You're frozen. Move to a different. Sorry. Move to a different spot. You were good a minute ago. You're frozen. But, you know, what a fuck. JC, he's frozen. I don't know what to do. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, well, it, what's up, buddy? Yeah, Tony, it always happens with SoFlo like that, bro. He gets to the good part, and he gets muted, or his signal messes up. I know it sucks. Uh, he was about to that say some good I shit. I think he too. plans it, bro. You think so? Yeah, I think I'm starting to think that SoFlo's a better marketer than we really even give him credit for. He, you know, he understands how to do climax with when it comes to getting everybody riled up and pumped up, and right when it's happening, his show goes off. You know, yeah. or, or or all of a sudden, you know, he's like this, right? And that's when it starts muting up. And you can see he's really like, you know, you know, making his best points. And you yeah. can just hear, you know, and you're like, oh. And everybody starts typing in, muted, muted, Tony, Tony. And freaking, then he waits for that to fill up the chat. That's when he unmutes his mic, bro. So, you know, I'm starting to think that SoFlo, you know, he's, he's a little bit smarter than, you know, than, we're, than, than we think he is. He's doing this on purpose. He must be. He must be because yeah. it always happens. It always happens. Say, uh, you know what? Merry Christmas to you and everybody out there. You too, JC. You and your Thank family. You. And I'll tell you, it's going to be, I'll, I'll be able to stop in tomorrow. I have uh, family that I'm going to be with, but it's all good. The, uh, um, you know, the, we all kind of do our own thing for a few hours. And it's so, and uh, it's nice and sunny in California today. You can still wear shorts, which is crazy. We usually don't get it that this far into the season, but looks like I might have a Christmas where I can wear shorts. Nice. Uh, not me. I'm going to have to fucking wear a goddamn Eskimo suit. I'm going to be in fucking... It's going to be four degrees here. What's up, Howie? What's up, What's Howie? up, fellas? Good to How see you, bro. Christmas, Howie? Merry Christmas to you, too, you and your family. How you doing today? All right, you know, I figured I'd uh, stop in and say hello. Nice. Where? Uh, how's the weather in Lubbock? Um, let me see. Uh, sixty-two. Not bad. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah, I, I I made a comment before, but I don't know if you saw it. Um. No, I was saying that the traffic isn't too bad in Texas out here. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, I don't know. I've never been there, bro. Especially where me and Tex live, because it's like outside of the city. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was going to go visit Tex one time. He didn't know it, but I had a chainsaw. <laughs> I was going to come yeah. over and do some uh, yard work for his apartment complex with that chainsaw. You know what I mean? Uh, hey, what's up, Beck? Um, Bobby, how you doing? You know, hello to everyone. I'm just, 
I'm, I can't do two things at once. I'm a one at a time guy. <laughs> yeah, I hear you, bro. Fucking give yourself a heart attack like I did yesterday. We'll yeah. take a break from sitting on uh, Big Tex and hang out on the show for a bit. I'm sure he'll leave his house anytime now, bro. And once he does, you can always <laughs> mute your microphone, handle what you got to handle, and then come back on the show. Yeah. Yeah, simple as that. Hey, you know, being that we talk, we talked about Lee yesterday, right? I, yeah. I just went went back to uh, to that um, that video that he made with Stax, and um, there was a couple of things that caught my attention. This guy, he, um, he was saying that Mikey Scars had seventy people locked up, and then he was asking Stax, "Well, how many of those people do you think were innocent?" And Stack said 30, and he agreed with him. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, all right. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I, uh, who were the innocent guys? That's what I want to know. Yeah, I, I don't know, bro. I don't think there was any. Stack just threw out a number. Yeah, exactly. It sounded like yeah. half of his You got to remember, name, so Frank, uh, or Stax is the guy who didn't know uh, how to pronounce the Chico. He didn't know who Frank the Chico was. You know what I mean? So, fucking mob DeCicio. knowledge 101. DeCicio. Yeah, DeCiso. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, my man, what's up? What's up, my beautiful brothers that I love? Hey, look at that tree, bro. Look at that tree, bro. Is that what's up, you so a Huh? Are hey, you a you... No, over here, it's called Merrick Park, big dog. It's over here in Coral Gables. It's an awesome oh. place. I don't know if you can see it very well around me like that. Look, all those yeah. are all, all those are all those are all stores, bro. You got here uh -oh. everything. You got Jimmy Shoe. You got Jimmy Shoe. A pottery barn. Tony action. You got the you got the this. You got that. You got the the proton. You got the this. You got uh, that. You got the vineyard vines. You got Tiffany's. You got Where Tony you Action, you got uh, Chico's, you also got Tony Action, and uh, you got... <laughs> <Louis Vuitton. laughs> Where do you get the fucking hey. nerve to live in South Florida when I got to be here in fucking Pennsylvania? <laughs> no, when you... Hey, when you come back down here again, we're going to bring you here. We went, did, did you go to Sawgrass? Yeah, yeah. I called you, went, you from Sawgrass. You went to Gardner, right? right? Where you didn't go yeah, was oh. Aventura Mall, right? No. No, I didn't yeah, go you there. Didn't go to, yeah, yeah, that's what happened. You didn't go to Aventura Mall... And you didn't come. Uh, you didn't come to Merritt Park. We got to. We got to bring you here to Merritt Park. This place is awesome, bro. It's a. It's a beautiful spot. You know what I mean? Uh, you know you're gonna spend some money. You know what I mean? But but thank goodness. Uh oh. And, uh... <laughs> See what I told you? He built up the suspense. Hey, bro. Now. But listen. Anyway, like I was saying earlier, because I only got a couple of minutes, real quick. You remember? So the guy puts up a video, trying to get my attention. Talking a whole bunch of about, about stuff about my mother, that she was a slave and she got gangbanged by, by his ancestors. I stayed quiet. I waited for the opportune time, which was that day that he came on your show <laughs> and his beautiful, loving, and charming mother showed up, showed her beautiful face on the screen. And boy, I like, oh, I'm going to make so much fun of you, bro. You don't even understand, I like, what I'm going to do to you, bro. You don't understand. I'm going to find out the time you and your mom and everyone around you takes a shit. You understand that, I like? You don't yeah, think we're going to do this shit? Okay. Merry Christmas. Did you show him how nice it is? <laughs> yeah, I was showing him how nice it is here, babe. I was, look, it's my beautiful, my beautiful baby. Yes, 100% Italiana, not like your mom or your grandma, I let or anything like that. Piece of shit, all of them. Yeah. Hey, I love you guys, bro. I really do, bro. Bust them up, you, FBS. Bust them up, everybody. Right, oh, I showed show them the... Yeah, the, the Christmas tree. I'm going to show you the Christmas tree. Look how big that thing is, bro. You're frozen right now. We can't see. All right. We love you guys, bro. Love you all, bro. All right. Merry Jay, Christmas. Right when he's gonna JC, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas, homie. Peace. I hope he's buying me something nice while he's there. Yeah, he named off all those stores. You know, hey, let's hook, hook a brother up for Christmas, right? You know, he... but uh, hey, I got to run, too. I'm going to go in the gym right now. But let me tell you about Eyelight's mom. Her glasses are so <laughs> thick. She already knows what half you guys got for Christmas already. <laughs> hey, you know, I forgot to tell you, FBS, I, 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 I got a gift for you. Did you really? Yeah, I got, I got you the same thing you got me last year. 
Oh, good, 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 good. Uh, that's, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> oh shit! JC said highlights glasses are so thick she can see a black guy's dick right through his right through his sweatpants. Wow. wow. I thought that's what he said. Maybe he said something different. So how are you doing, bro? <laughs> All right. We're having just, fun. Uh, just relaxing, you know. Anthony Avalada says he wants to jump on, uh, but he's not in the chat yet. He's going right. to jump on the chat. Right. Uh, Guys, if you can, please donate to the FBS show. I'd appreciate it very much. Yeah, and... Um, uh Lee, uh he was um saying, you know, that all these rats are running wild, somebody's gotta stop them. Um he said uh he was saying that uh somebody uh, one of the uh Gene's girlfriend's gonna end up dead one day. Um you know, Wait a minute, who said this? Uh Lee. Lee. Oh my god. Yeah, he's trying to insinuate, you know, like uh but, you know, I mean, the one thing that you've never heard anybody say, Gene has never raised his hands to any woman. Yeah, not that you I know. know. Yeah, so how are you going to go from fucking uh, uh, a bullshit domestic quarrel to murder, you know? Uh, he's trying to say, like, just because he he broke the frame on the door, like that he's capable of killing the girl. I mean, I'm sure there's been, I'm sure everybody in here has broken something at one time in their life when they got mad. Of course. You know, and and it isn't even that he likes, it's not even that he cares about that girl. He's only doing it to get a gene. He don't care about that girl. No, fuck no. Listen, let me remind everybody. I, I told you this on the phone yesterday, Howie. Yeah. This motherfucker during the Gabby Petito thing said something to the effect of, well, she wasn't innocent. Look at the scratches on his face. In other words, Gabby Petito's boyfriend's face. I forget his fucking name. Yeah. But, yeah. So he was saying that uh, Gabby Petito deserved it. That's what he was saying. Okay. So this is a guy, uh, he has no problem with domestic violence. I guarantee when he was a big fucking gigantic hillbilly, he probably uh, slapped a bitch or two in his life. I'd put money on it. I want, I want to know why his ex-girlfriend felt the need to go into Walmart, hide in the restroom, and call the cops. Yeah. That's not normal. No. That's not normal. No, she, she, definitely, she definitely had a, a, a lot of fear. And, you know, I don't think it was, uh, you know, I, I think it's the fear of him, you know, putting his hands on her. Uh, probably yeah i'm sure there was there had to be a reason for it. you don't just do that you know what i mean she was scared yeah snitchy snitchy absolutely uh davis dean said so you're saying gene has never kidnapped a girl <laughs> not that i know yeah right i mean you know gene gene you know he may he may get you know say things and uh you know make threats but he he's he hasn't raised his hands to that girl you know uh but he, uh, Lee's making it out like, oh, my God, uh, the feds, got, they should intervene because this guy's going to wind up killing killing her. They're going to find her under a mattress one day. What a fucking idiot. He's, you know, he's so mad at that dude for rejecting him. Like I said, Gene right. said, fuck right. you. And now Lee will go to any lengths to fucking, I don't know, try to get him back with words or something. I don't know. He's a fucking dumbbell. Yeah, that's what he's trying to do. He's dog whistling. Right now, he's dry snitching. That's yeah, I would, Absolutely. I would like to say that I hope they find Lee under a mattress one day, but there's no way he could fit under a mattress. Yeah. No, well, if they did, it'd be like 10 feet high. Yeah. The mattress would be touching the fucking ceiling. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, 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 Lee, Lee, uh, Lee, Lee, uh, Leave all the um, the investigations of the rats to uh, to the cops. All right, uh, and and this guy's under the assumption that just because people cooperated, that um, they can do anything they want. No, yeah, you uh, you get much just as much trouble as a regular person, maybe even more. Without a doubt. 
Without a doubt, bro. Yeah, and yeah, then, yeah. and you know, they always talk about about uh oh, he said he had the balls to say that that we're ruining the genre. What the 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 rats, the rats are the rats are ruining the genre. Yeah, it makes no sense. The rats are the genre. Exactly. They are. Exactly. I'd be I'd be sitting here talking about fucking DJing or, or some shit if it wasn't you know what I mean? Like what the fuck, bro? Yeah, like uh if if it wasn't for the uh for people like us being uh giving interviews and stuff like that, he wouldn't have anything to talk about on his show. Nope. No, of course not. None of none of the mob two people would. You know what I mean? There'd be no black hand print mafia, there'd be no Jeff Nadu, there'd be no OC shorts. You know what I mean? It would be fucking uh you know, a bunch of people speculating about the mafia because they wouldn't right. have any real information. Right, they wouldn't have any uh, um, uh, first-hand information. And knowledge. Everything, everything will be uh, Google, you know? Yep. That's yeah, all sure. he's going to do. He doesn't... Oh, he even that, it. though. Even that, though. Think about it, Howie. Even on Google, there would be... if Let's just say Joe Valachi. Uh, never, never flipped. People like that. You know what I mean? The earlier guys, fucking even Greg Scarpa, Henry Hill. You know what I mean? People like this. What would we know about the mafia? It would be like the fucking, you know, the 50s and early 60s. People would be wondering, you know, uh, does this thing even exist? You know what I mean? Like, for right. real. And even then, you know, like, here's a perfect example, right? The Daily News wrote an article about me that was totally, completely wrong. So, you know, who's, I, I don't think I was the first person that there was an article written about that was wrong. You know? Yeah, yeah. No, of course not, bro. Of course not. They, they don't look into anything. You know what I mean? Like, Lee will find an article and he'll just run with that. You know what I mean? But if, if you're somebody he likes, he'll, he'll deny that article altogether. Like yeah. the Washington <laughs> Burglar. You know what I mean? If you're Danny Trio, we find an article that he's the wash and wear burglar. He'll deny that to no end. You know what I mean? But if he finds an article on you, uh, he'll just take it and run with it because he wants bad shit to say about you. You know what I mean? I, I believe that um, everything that that happened to Danny Trio or Smith, whatever you call him, uh, is because of Lee. Because I believe Lee is the one who 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 told him to make up those stories? It's very possible. I just I just can't I can't I just can't believe that a normal person would come up with stories like that. I gotta believe that it was Lee, and Danny f fell for it. Probably. Probably. So basically, he ruined all of Danny's credibility. Uh, because, I mean, it's proven that Lee has done shit like that before. Written fake articles and uh, sent fake emails. I mean, we, we have the proof of that. Yeah, we do. What is, uh, look, for, for first, Frank Fiordolino said we should gather up all the stoolies and have a Team USA for victims of Lee fundraiser. Maybe we could do a We Are the World remake. That would be hilarious. <laughs> do a mob tube version. Let me see something real quick. Dion the Liar, how long do you need to be an informant before they are done with you, FBS? What does that mean? How hmm. long do you need to be an informant? Before well, maybe he maybe he's asking that, how long uh, are you an informant before the, the government's done with you? And he's asking you. Oh. Maybe. maybe. Is that I what mean, you meant, Dion? That's a good question. If that's the question, I mean, you could answer that. But I, I was going to ask yeah. you this anyway. Uh, MRE and these dickheads are always talking about Jimmy's handlers, your handlers, your handlers. Yeah. Oh, how yeah. long has it been since you had a handler? Uh, a long time. long time. Uh, I don't have a handler. I did back then, but not anymore. Yeah. You know, once you're, uh, once you're sentenced and you don't have any probation anymore, you can choose never to talk to them again if you want. Yeah. That's what I figured. What's up, Anthony? How you guys doing? Good. Merry Christmas, my friend. Yeah. Merry Christmas to you guys. Happy holidays to everyone. 
Absolutely. What's up, buddy? How are you, Howie? All right. <laughs> Weren't we just talking for like two hours? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny, no matter what's going on in MobTube, at least a couple of us are on the phone with each other. Yeah. You know what I mean? At every single point during the day. <laughs> well, we, we should record our conversations and, and, and use them for content. <laughs> that would you be know, something, huh? You know what's funny? It's like before, that's all I did all day. You know, I'm on the phone all day. Yeah. Talking to this, like, say, how we, we talk for a couple hours. I'm talking to this guy, talking to that guy. And now it's the same thing. You know, only it's uh, on shows. Nothing different. And we're attacking why, some scumbags that, uh, you know, some bad people. That's <laughs> why we enjoy this, because we're actually doing things that we used to do. You know, like hanging around the club and, and bullshitting, you know? Yeah. Yeah, we were talking today all about business and mostly, you know, that real life, estate, like the yeah. real estate, you know. That's yeah, why see, at, at a time like, like this, I could, I could just sit back and let you guys talk. I love it. Go ahead, Alex. Yeah, like uh, we're capable of having conversations like that. Um, I don't think Lee and Stax could have a conversation like that. Never. Never. They're nothing. They were, well, first of all, they weren't about anything streetwise. But then if you want to go the uh, you know legitimate size, like we talked today all about uh, legitimate businesses, mostly real estate, and the businesses that we had that we were involved in, they can't even, they have to do content just on talking bad about people, slandering people. They have no content, whether it's street crimes or legitimate crime. And, um, and that's why their channels uh, suck. And that's why they're low lives. Yeah. Can you imagine a conversation between those two fucking jerk offs, though? Stacks and fucking Lee. Oh, they'd be talking about what, what kind of crack and heroin did you used to use back <laughs> in the day? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Remember when? Remember when the coke was really coke back in the day? <laughs> Didn't Lee did say that? Use... Yeah, I believe he did. Did yeah. you used to use the same needle, or did you used to switch, change them? <laughs> oh shit. Bro, you should see Stax's record, bro. It's a, it's a whole bunch of nonsense, bro. You know, there's not a real crime in there. You know what I mean? Well, Lee Cole, he told um he when he was telling Angel that he smoked pot from the age of 14 to 50, he said that uh when he was younger, um, you know, heroin was a big thing and that all of his friends became uh got addicted and became drug addicts and that he was the only one that didn't. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Who Lee said that? The lion. Yeah, Lee, Lee said that. Yeah. Yeah. You, well, you can't believe nothing out of his mouth. Number no. one. And then you just look at him. You know, he's got those um those kidnapper eyes. Those <laughs> those uh, those drug that, addict that predator you know, predator eyes. Yeah, like those are. You could tell he's um. He, you know, he's capable of those charges that he was accused of, you know, brutally kidnapping that woman. I mean, if she didn't get away, I, you know, he'd be probably in jail. He would have killed that girl. Probably. He, wa he wind up getting locked up because um, he had a warrant, I believe, for the hotel incident. Yeah. And her, her family took her away from him just recently. She got her. They got her out of there. They didn't want her near him anymore. Common yeah. sense, forty nine ninety nine. Thank you, bro. Thank you very much, my friend. Merry Christmas to you and your family. Yeah, uh, co common sense. My uh, cash app is. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they didn't. Um, you know, they didn't want her near him anymore after the whole thing when he tried to, you know, steal well, they, her money while she was in the hospital and all that. They sort of rescued her, and now yeah. you know maybe there's more to it with him jumping from state to state. You know, maybe there was similar incidences like that where uh, these girls go missing and, you know, in, in the states that he lived in. <laughs> what if we found out one day that Lee is a fucking active serial killer? You know what I mean? And he's been doing it for years. It's Would anybody possible. even be surprised? I wouldn't. No. No, I wouldn't either. But you know Me what? Either. Families only try to get uh, a woman away from somebody when they're in an abusive relationship. 
Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, so there was something going on there. Yeah. And based on the way he talks, like, you know, that that, that girl, uh, Gabby, uh, the boyfriend Patino. had uh, scratches on his face. The way he talks, you can just tell that he's like, a, you know, a, a woman hater. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, listen, imagine how long it's been since he got pussy. I mean, you'd probably be a woman hater, too. Jesus. Oh, fuck. yeah. Probably yeah, was... since the first Bush was in office. It was probably the right. last time. Well, that's how, why they're so miserable and nasty. I, I forgot who I was talking to about that, but they have nothing to look forward to. You know, the only thing, and they don't even have food to look forward to. Like, you know, at least if you're going to go out and have a nice dinner, that's something enjoyable. You know, you go to a nice restaurant and, a, and have a nice meal. You can look forward to it. But I notice I a lot of people on that side have nothing, you know, you know, him, a couple of other people similar to him. They have nothing to look forward to. No, like you said, no girlfriend in their life. They're disgustingly out of shape. Um, they have, uh, you know, history, you know, with uh, drug abuse that they still deal with with that level. And, um, you know, they have, their, you know, they live in month to month, you know, like, you know, they're broke. You know, guy in my area is going to be in the shelter soon. So, uh, you know, they have nothing to look forward to, <laughs> no joy. So they come on and they just, they're about hate. And there, there's nothing um, that they thrive on the hate and the slander and the and and that's how that's only thing that they can relate to, you know. I, they, you know, I don't believe they were they've even they've ever eaten in a nice restaurant. No, 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 no. I agree. No and and they have the nerve to you know to badmouth us, you know, like that. We're we're low lives. Well, listen, we lived a life that was a, a very, uh, people could say we were bad guys, you know, but we were, we lived a life, you know, the mafia was, oh, we know, were definitely all of us bad growing guys. up. Yeah, but the mafia was what it was throughout the 19, you know, 1900s all the way up till 2000. The mafia was what it was. And if you grew up in an Italian section, there's no way you're escaping that if you're a sort of a criminal or you're a wild kid you're not escaping that so you know those type of guys we get involved in that life we hurt guys that are involved in the life you know say a guy in my area i pled guilty to killing him well that guy the feds were trying to give that guy the death penalty before he got murdered then i kill him then i'm facing a death penalty case so it's like we hurt each other you know we're not you know so we are, we were bad guys, but we were bad guys to each other. You know, yeah. people can understand that and relate to that. You know, when you bring up these the crimes, like you said, this other kid is uh, Mickey Mouse crimes he did with uh, drugs and drug abuse, you know, getting arrested for being a, a drug addict and those type of crimes. And then you've got a guy that kidnaps, you know, a woman. Those are bad crimes. It's far Kidnapping resolved. a woman, that's that's a terrible crime. Yeah, it is. Uh, Jimmy Calandra, Merry Christmas to you and your family too, bro. Good to see you here. Merry Christmas to you too, Jimmy. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Yeah, fucking kidnapping, that's a fucking serious... I mean, bro, if yeah. I had that, if I had that, God forbid, something like that in my background, I wouldn't be on here talking shit to anyone. No. You know what I mean? It's like, hey. how can you fucking point your finger? Now, just think yeah. about it, right? The girl attempted to get out of the vehicle when she saw the cops by the hotel, if that's what, the, what, what really happened in the newspaper. Now, now, what kept her from opening that door and getting out? He must have grabbed her by a hair or something. Oh, it was a brutal kidnapping. She's lucky she's alive. She escaped death. She escaped death that day. Yeah, by hiding in the restroom and, and calling the, the law. Yeah, yeah. Who knows what he would have did to her afterwards? Oh no, he would have. And you could see he probably he would have did bad things. Yeah. That girl, you would have never seen her again. And, and he's got the nerve to talk about a guy breaking a fucking piece of wood that goes around the door, the molding. And then he then he says that uh, uh, the you know something should be done right. about it because that girl's going to wind up dead one day. Right. Right. And he never laid a hand on her. Gene never, right. never touched the girl ever. 
But, no. you know, we were on lefties last night and we were talking and, um, you know, we were getting into like the wrestling uh, situation and, uh, you know, who is he to be entitled to any of that money, you know, about, you know, with his brother's exploitation of sexual misconduct. And then here he comes, the older brother, and, and jumps in. You figure maybe the older brother's going to go kill this wrestler that did what he did to this brother. No, he jumped on to get money out of it. And exploit, you know, and who was he to get any of money out of that? Right. He he yeah. told he told the courts that the guy diddled him too. Yeah. Another lion Lee struck again. And 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 the brother the brother didn't even want to go through all of that, but he uh, and and uh, because every time Lee went and started talking to all these news organizations. Uh, do you think you think his brother wanted everybody and their mother to know what happened to him? No, no. but he didn't that. care. And they offered sure. the brother money, you know, to go on. He wanted to get back into that life. And you know, from what I heard from a couple, you know, the interviews are out there for people to watch. And um, from what I heard, a lot of the uh, the reports on that, there's not even it's a not even a hundred percent for sure that the brother was even sexually uh, abused. You know, they no. just settled the states. They, they settled uh, that. I think they gave him a hundred thousand, but there was never no uh, admitting. You know, admitting that when it came down to it. So I don't even know if that's even true, if that even happened. I, you know, this guy pushed his brother into that with all these um, allegations and everything. Well, he did it to himself, so you know he did it to his brother. Right. Hey, hey you know what? I want to say something too. Lee Cole, see all of this that's being said. You, it's I, I'll, I'll, it's a good idea if you just swallow it because if you try to fuck with my family, or or, or my ex wife, I'm telling you right now, I will ruin your life, not physically, but I got a couple things on you. Don't worry, I got a few tricks up my sleeve. Well, or so how? Think, yeah. No, go ahead. No, I got. I'm sorry. Finish. Yeah. So I don't want to think like, okay, now we're the subject of his next show. And he's going to start pushing things that ain't true, right. because I'm I'm serious. I'll 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 do things that I never thought of doing before. And I'm not talking about hurting him. I'm talking right. about legitimate ways. Well, you, it, it's funny when you say that because that's what he he sent a message to me after he you know did a hit piece on me. He did a hit piece, you know, one of the, his usual hit pieces, and uh, and then he tried to send peace to me after he did it. Like, you know, you know, it would end with that. And, you know, he wanted peace and forget about that. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah. So I guess, you know, I gave him his answer, but any. Yeah. I, he, he fucks around. I'll put up the fucking phone number to the Texas Social Security. Oh, that's a on touchy FB, subject. Yeah. yeah. On, on, on whatever show that I'm on. And you know what? I'm sure had all the people that are on here, somebody's gonna call there. Yeah. Won't be me, but you know, I'll do like he does, dry snitch. Well he's got problems with that, you know. Yeah. He's Chris Capello, Merry Christmas to you and your family. Sorry guys. No. Yeah. Chris Capello, what's up, Chris? What's up, Chris? Yeah, um, I couldn't imagine lying about being a victim of that fucking crime. You know what I mean? I really couldn't. That shit is yeah. unbelievable. To say that happened to you. You know what I mean? Like Tony Duck said he thought uh, his brother only got 20, but that was Lee. Lee got the 20 Gs. Yeah. Merry Christmas, Tony Duck. Yeah, Merry Christmas, yeah, he Tony got Duck. 20. He got, Lee got 20, and the brother, I think, got 100. You know, but I'm still watching that. I'm still not done because, you know, we're going to, you know, there's a lot of ammunition there. Oh, yeah. Hey, 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 wow, oh, you're, yeah. you're breaking up, buddy. Yeah, you sound like no. a robot. How about right now? Is that common? There you go. There you go. There Sounds you go. good now. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. What's up, Common? Oh, okay, good. Not too much. How are you guys doing tonight? Good. All right. How's What's things? Up, How's the family? You got all the presidents wrapped? Uh-oh. Uh, it's doing it again. You're fucked up again, Carmen. You sound like a robot.
You there, Carmen? No, oh, it dropped off. Yeah. But um, yeah, yeah. we had we had a yeah we had a nice uh, good conversation with the uh, yeah we did yeah yeah we should start it up again with a nice uh, with a real estate business the same way yeah right yeah yeah you know and 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 the reason the reason why uh, we didn't do um, you know that much with it back then is because neither one of us had the patience. Well. Not the patience, or yeah, it's like the, the money wasn't good enough. It wasn't lucrative right, enough yeah. to, to, to get. In, you know, it's like we're gonna, you know, yeah. Who the fuck? Know, I was everything? involved in many real estate deals, and it was something that, you know, unless the the big later on it got bigger. I mean, real estate is huge money. You know, yeah, we, everybody knows that. And, and if you get the right deal, there's uh, crazy money in it. But um, when you're making crazy money. It's like you don't waste your time doing that. It's like you're making so much money doing everything else. It's like I don't want to be bothered, you know, back then with that, with you know, with doing with doing those deals. Yeah, yeah. We, I mean, we bought and flipped a bunch of houses, but well, um, the best you know, is like, to buy and like hold. You did, yeah, yeah. That's you know, yeah. Who the know, fuck like knew we were everything... talking today? Yeah. Who who knew that everything was going to quadruple in two thousand two? That's what the Philly guys are doing. Yeah. They're buying real estate? Yeah. 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 They're going legit. They're flipping fucking houses and shit. They all are. Like the New York guys, the New York wise guys, all the bosses in there, they're in the you know construction business, concrete business, all legitimate businesses building. Um, they're involved in building skyscrapers and all throughout the country, never mind just New York. And those bosses are involved in all of that. They, you think they're touching uh, anything on the streets or talking to any soldiers or captains about anything? You can't get near them. They don't want nothing to do with that. They're making especially, too much money legitimate. Especially now, the way shit's changed. Yeah. Too bad didn't change when we was out there and they weren't, they weren't dropping bodies. We would, we would have been... Uh, <laughs> Right, if there, there was a no violence rule, then yeah. uh, everybody would have been okay. Yeah, it seems like our era was the last with the violence existed. Yeah. We got caught up in it, you know. Common sense, you there? Yeah, do I sound okay now? Oh, oh you're <laughs> messed up, buddy. You still sound what? messed up. What the hell is going on? I don't want to connect to my head. You sound like, <laughs> Sounds you sound like, like Donald Frankie. Duck. <laughs> you sound like Frankie Ferdolino. <laughs> Francesco, I'm pissed, man. Let's stop fucking around with this guy. Let's get the ball rolling. Let's do it. I mean, let's get Born the fucking Holly, Francesco. Let's, let's get the flyers. Let's go get in touch with this woman, even if we gotta put a couple of dollars in. What the fuck? It's worth it. Yeah. Well, we already Whatever put up you money, want. a bounty. Me and Howie. No, let's 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 Howie get together. We'll three. talk. We'll call each other and let's just put this in motion. Let's let's Howie let's put, uh, put this three. bomb out. Put up one. We're up to four thousand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's let's put the floor. Anthony's gonna uh, put up I mean, three. I'm up. gonna put up one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's how we put up the three. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Common, your voice is all messed up, buddy. I think we can get it for Gino. We'll negotiate. We gotta see. We gotta see how how much her information is worth. How much? Well, not only that, yeah, and she, yeah, yeah. It's, it, it's got to be what we want to hear too. You, you, she doesn't have to lie, but it's but it's what we want to hear. How much you throwing in, Frank? Uh, how we got three? I got one. What are you gonna put in? Not probably one. All right, so we got five. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I don't think we have to day. give it that much, but it's okay. I listen, whatever. I'm done with this guy. Uh, second of all, it's like, I mean, how much would you think she wants? She hung out with this guy and hung out in Walmart with him. How much can she have to actually be worth? Yeah, birds of a feather. Like they did the casino you know. scene together. Yeah. She has a she has a GoFundMe up because mm, I don't know if she's still currently homeless, but she was and had a GoFundMe up. Oh, she's so. homeless. Let's what, get her. What are we waiting for? Well, you know for? what God I think? Damn. I think she had that Stockholm syndrome, you know, yep. after she got away and, you know, and escaped death. I think afterwards, you know, she had the Stockholm syndrome and that's how she stayed around as much, you know, as long as she uh, did or whatever. That could even be not even true anyways, but the family had to come and rescue her. Yeah, I hear every time she sees a bald guy with glasses, she flinches. 
No, hey, he's hey, got to weigh six hundred pounds and and. No, she runs also. into Walmart and hikes. <laughs> it's not funny. It's not fucking funny. It's not. not I heard funny she for can't her. even go by. I heard she can't even drive by a Walmart. She can't even get the PTSD from the Walmart. She can't even go by there. Yeah. Only when she sees a, a, a freaking gyro. Well, so she you know what? I mean, sweating. From what from what I hear, you know, I heard she was a nice lady. I, I don't know how the hell she wound she up. Probably here. is. Yeah. This my this is my last try. Am I better now? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah, what a nightmare. I'm sorry. I hope I didn't mess your show up, guys. What, what, what was wrong? You fucking ruined it. Oh, <laughs> motherfucker. I'm sorry, man. My apologies. <laughs> nah, I, I don't know. I, I, re, I rebooted my phone. It wouldn't let me connect to my uh, my AirPods. So I tried plugging in the uh, regular like iPhone headphone things, but you, people were saying I sounded like Alvin the Chipmunk, apparently. You plugged <laughs> it into your car? No, no. Into the phone. Straight into the phone. Oh, okay. I, I, yeah. I don't know why I was doing it. It wouldn't let me connect. You know the option to, on your settings to connect to your uh, headset, your AirPods? It wouldn't let yeah. me connect to my AirPods. I, I was weird. Yeah, so my I reset phone my does phone. that sometimes. Yeah, I reset my phone. Now I'm good. I'm sorry about that. What's up, FBS? How you guys doing tonight? What's up? Bro? All right. Hey, yeah, I'm on last night, Common, when, uh, when um, Lion Lee sent uh, one of his uh, soldiers with the wrench in his channel into uh, onto, um, lefties. Oh fucking uh, Sean! Yeah, that was funny, huh? Yeah, he, you know I've caught that guy on other things, saying, saying a lot of shit and everything like that. But uh, he was I don't know. He was telling half truths. Yeah. yeah, but he admitted though. He admitted all. He the, admitted uh, some shit. A lot. He was of there. Stuff, you know? Otis Trifle said yeah. he has a hundred. Talking... Oh Otis! Oh yeah. There you go. Look at that! Look at that! Oh, there, there you go. I'll throw some. Oh. I'll throw a few hundred on it. What See are we that? throwing That's money good. on? I missed it. And, and you know what? Let's have a show on the FBS show where we could do like half goes to, you know, the content creator because he, he puts on a great show and the other half goes into this woman and we do We could do that tomorrow, actually. Yeah. Christmas what, is Eve show. For, what is it for? For uh, to, to get this woman um, to, to give us an interview about what happened at that, that fateful day. The kidnapping. Okay. Death. Right. The Walmart story. Yeah, no problem. I'm, I'm in. Once upon a time in Walmart. <laughs> Thank you, in Durango. Cordell. Thank you for the ten bucks, Steven. Yeah, we'll talk about how we're Durango gonna go about it. Uh, off yeah, camera. however FBS wants to go about it, I'm in. Yeah, we'll talk about it off camera. Yeah, of course. That'd be an interesting story. And then she has a GoFundMe page too. Let's do it, and then it starts there. And then we'll do the real truth about it, bro. Then we'll go there. Then we could go yeah. even the dirty he gets, the real low we could get. So let's do it. You're messing with the right fucking guys, okay? You asshole. <laughs> well, you know, Anthony. Anthony I have made fun. A... I, I really enjoy this. You know, when somebody I don't I don't mess with anybody, but when somebody messes with me, I'm all in. Well, Anthony made a good point too, because if uh if that fat uh fucking Texas kidnapper never got involved with that situation with his brother, his brother might have actually gotten justice. Yeah. Cause they didn't believe, they didn't believe Lee because of his background having all the thefts and the fucking yeah. stealing and all that shit on his record. So his brother got screwed over as the real victim in that case because right. of his involvement in that shit. You know. Yeah, not only that, not. Pat Patterson was into slim looking guys, muscular. Here comes this fucking tag, five hundred pounds, trying to say right. Pat Patterson was trying to put in his fucking ass. <laughs> Fuck right. out of here. You know, and then on top of that, it's like uh, you ruined if you the, case. the interview. If you watch the interview, you know. You just know how uh, what a liar this dude is when he started saying, "Yeah, the guy, the guy that was doing the interview looked like he wanted to just spit right in." Uh, oh, he was face. disgusted. He, he wanted disgusted. to go through the camera and rip his tongue right out of his mouth. You could like just I tell do. the disgust in his face. And um, he was asking him really good questions all about that. You know, when it came down to uh, all those uh, all the incidents, but he said, "Well, what exactly happened?" He said, "Well, the guy had a foot fetish." And he used to like to, you know, you know, he got into this foot <laughs> fetish thing and bringing them to motels and all this crazy stories. And the guy you could tell didn't believe a word he was saying. If you watch the interview, you could tell you, you won't even believe it. How did he pronounce foot? He has trouble with F's. Who? Yeah. <laughs> he puts foof. like A's in front of the F's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A foof. Yeah. yeah. Okay, touching his foof. <laughs> Nine pound tongue. <laughs> hey, you know. 
somebody just reminded me that he um while that lady was sick with COVID, he went into a, a bank account, took her money. Yeah, I oh, heard that oh, too. Woman, yeah, yeah, the woman yeah. he stole he it stole gets all the worse money and off worse. the card. Well, I oh, you didn't too. hear that? No, I never. I, well, listen, I, like I said, I just started yeah. uh, poking in there and everything. But the more you hear, the more like disgusting it gets. And and I have to say, he he's right up there with one of the worst of the worst out there. Nah, he's bad. We wouldn't even have him around. We we would slug that guy so many times back in the day. Nice smack now uh, and then. It was back in the day, yeah. I mean, he wouldn't would, be uh, around. Nah, nah. Yeah. That's an yeah. animal. That's one of those white trash guys yeah. that hang out in those bars. He wouldn't like open shit. his mouth back in the day. No, he wouldn't open his mouth. No, you couldn't even part? have a guy like that do anything for you. Know, like, say, say I had a hundred things going on. I wouldn't even know what to do with that guy. Like, what could I possibly put him in? Like. You know, run like a, a bar I had or a restaurant or put some money on the street. He'd be, you know, he'd be stealing the money. You'd have to, you know, kill him or sports gambling. What what could you possibly do with this dude well, in the streets for anything? Well, the only thing he did when he was younger is he uh, he managed uh, 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 or he was like a, um, a security guard for one of those peep show things. <laughs> uh, for, well, on, uh, that explains a lot right there. Yeah. No, for real. He said he worked. Yeah. He said. yeah, that's what I'm saying. That explains yeah. a lot now with the, with the story. Now it's all coming together. You know. Did, did you hear the story? Uh, the the supposedly her son when she was in the hospital fighting COVID. Supposedly Lee was going down to the hospital telling them that he wanted a do not resuscitate order on her, and the family found out about it and banned him from like seeing her or something like that. I heard. Oh my god! Really? Oh my yeah. god! Yeah, it, it, it gets yeah. just, yeah, the, this, this just when sad. you thought it's, you couldn't it's, hear it's anything. Not even funny. It's not it keeps fun. getting more, worse. Just when it's you thought fun. you heard yeah, it that was going around for a while, and I guess they, they didn't want him to see her no more. When she came home, she left him and shit, you know, probably because he uh, cleaned out her fucking uh, bank card. Because I guess he was saying that he needed money to buy the dog dog food or something like that. Right. And he got into her bank and cleaned out her accounts and shit like that. And the son Did, found out or something. Didn't when they That's a real scumbag. When they interviewed Lee's son, didn't he um speak on that? I think it was him, yeah. Well, let me tell you, son, if it wasn't for this little oh, MRE weasel, that. this little MRE weasel, little rap bastard that he is, this guy's the worst of the worst. I think right they're neck and neck, right up there. Right up there, yeah, for sure. Well, you know, I, Trump, yeah, he there. might be the worst because he does, he does shit behind the scenes. You know what I mean? He's calculated yeah. where, where he'll try to get these no, he's know, the worst. people right. like Tony Pizza to like do right. shit for him, you know? At least the other guy's a baker. You know what I mean? He's a humble baker. He goes to the well, bakery you know why, and cooks the bread. You know why I think he's worse? Because the other guy is a white supremacist, but Lee, I believe, is a racist, but he's uh, he's keeping it on the down low. Yeah, he's under co- undercover racist. Undercover, yeah. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, well, yeah. You, yes, yes. You don't think I yeah. think he used the N-word in his life? Come on, man. Right, oh, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the other man. guy never kidnapped the lady. <laughs> No. Yeah, right. That's he's, true. You know, he's he spent his the whole other life... guy doesn't even like ladies. Uh, Carmen, uh, that's funny. We should get that midget and, and send the midget down to Texas <laughs> and beat his ass. It's worth it. I'm serious. <laughs> and tape it. that that motherfucker spent his whole life throwing rocks and hiding his hand. You know what I mean? He does everything. Oh yeah, sneaking. for sure. Me and FBS yeah, talked sure. about this already. He's the worst of the worst because he does everything on a sneak. But everybody knows him by now. Well, look what he did with uh, with SoFlo when he was trying to give him uh, MRE's family's info and shit. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's yeah, the type yeah, of shit yeah. that guy does, you know? Exactly. You know, I remember I told ball. the kid last night he was yeah. trying to say, well, this guy was <clears> friends <throat> with that guy. And it, what about when this guy just uh, – and they're friends now. He was uh, – what about when this guy called up and gave all the most disgusting information? To, uh, SoFlo got it recorded about this uh, – the baker from uh, uh, Providence. Yeah, the baker mm-hmm. of Providence, the baker, the Providence Very baker. <laughs> yeah, the baker yeah. I heard he fucking. I heard that guy sucks all the uh, fucking regat out of the Schwoidels out there. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you know he's you, you know he's 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 in the back room. Yeah. You know you know he's uh, stuffing his face, eating those cannolis and everything back in the back. Oh, the long way. <laughs> Ooh, I can just imagine how many cannolis. Forget about it. 
One day he was on stream uh, salivating over the thought of eating Kaiser rolls. Kaiser rolls. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, you know, it's funny. He, he said his routine back in the day, he would smoke a joint, take the train ride to his job, and then when he, uh, before he went to his job, he'd have a coffee and a Kaiser roll. And by that time, he'd be coming down from the weed. See? I'm telling you, he yeah. loves them Kaiser rolls, that guy. We're talking about MRE? No, Big Tex. The kidnapper. Oh, oh, Kaiser rolls, yeah. You know who has the best Kaiser rolls? Not for nothing. I'm going to give them a plug, even though they hate the fuck out of me. From all these bakery where I work. Oh, yeah. As a kid. Oh, I older. I was older when I worked there. They had the best Kaiser rolls in all New York City. That's his new nickname, the Kaiser Kidnapper. Yeah, they no, the lot less Kaiser Frank. roll napper. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I can picture A and E. His name was Lee. Ro- I mean, he seemed harmless until the crack in the case came at the kidnapping in Walmart. Yeah, how did you know the the funniest thing about you the know, whole story? The funniest thing is right is that uh, when FBS got his um his record or whatever. When Lee said he was on the run for 10 years, it come to find out that this guy was on the run for, from absconding from court for like six days. He got caught like six days later. <laughs> that whole story he told was all <laughs> bullshit. He got pinched for uh, defrauding that uh, motel innkeeper or whatever. Yeah. Absconded from court and then got caught. He said he was on the run from the bounty hunters, but it was like six days later that he got that kidnapping case with the fucking lady at the Walmart. So that whole yeah. story that he tells is bullshit. And uh, of course, co- According to his records, it says the only jail time he did was 41 days. He didn't do no two really? bullets. I know that. Yeah, yeah, I heard that last night. You guys talking about that. You know he yeah. did. And if he did that's 20 about times, his friend. it's like FBS said. He has a lot, know, of, he, he has he a lot of bail. charges. He has a lot of charges for only doing 41 days, really? Yeah, because he yeah. cooperated probably. Who's he going to tell on? Fuck, he had nobody to tell. The, the, tell the, the, on? Uh, the other yeah. moron that was with him on the burglary. Probably. Did it say he had co-defendants in the case? Uh-huh. Usually no, if I... there's a... So if you have a case number, usually there'll be a subsequent like case number for a co-defender or something. Was there anything on there? I'd have to look yeah. at it. I didn't they see didn't it. Have it. They didn't have it on there, but, uh, you know, like who commits a burglary by themselves? Or you'd have to be a real crackhead or a moron. Yeah, like maybe maybe the other person's name wasn't on there because he cooperated. I don't know. That's possible, yeah. Because, yeah, usually that, that's either some junkie shit or you're just an idiot. You know what I mean? I'll tell well, you what. If we really found out about this guy, what he's about, or what, what everything like everything ever came out, I think, yeah, we'll be surprised at some of the stuff, but not too surprised. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? The, guy, the guy's lived in every state in the fucking continental U.S. He yeah. runs, every time he gets arrested or a suit, yeah. he runs to a new fucking state. You know what I mean? Right. What I'm yeah, surprised scumbag. that like people can actually even subscribe, you know, or follow him on his channel. I mean, I'm surprised that the people that over there, you know, not, I don't know if they, they probably don't know his story, you know, just like the guy last night. They probably really don't know. Right. Uh, really what he's about. And um, right. I think the more and more Let- it gets out, like, you know, if it comes I'm- into the algorithm, I think they're going to start dropping him. You know, he's got a lot of fake uh, subscriptions. Well, but, yeah. Yeah. well there's gonna, a, you, you know what I found? Go ahead. Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you why he doesn't do a show every day, okay? He doesn't do a show every day uh, because ev- eventually, uh, it, by him doing a show every day, it's going to get less and less. Less and less people are going to watch him, and he's never going to do as good as FBS, so he tries to avoid never. that. Right. So he does. So now, can he FBS does, got more priority? He, he, right. he does okay. like he did like a, like a show here and there, like when there's right. a lot of drama that happened. So this way, right. he'll get a lot of viewers waiting to see but what he's got to say. You. But how about this too? real quick? Real quick is what is he going to do the his show about? So let's just say he does a hit piece on me. I mean, I think I leave the uh, besides FBS. I think he's a you know. I bet you've been in it longer than me, so. He's probably did hit pieces on you, but he's once he's done doing a hit piece on us, then what is what's the next show gonna be about? You just said everything about us. What's the next show gonna be about? He's got no content. Like if we just stop talking about him right now, we could talk till next week about 
shit on the street and everything about our lives and, and, and not even mention any of these, uh, of him or these low lives of anything. He can't do that. There's nothing he can talk about, but do hit pieces on people. And, and that's why he can't do a show every day. Right. And, and he uses, and he rides angels coattails to get his messages out when, uh, when he's not doing a show. If, uh, Right. You know, like he'll he'll go on hut when he's pissed off at somebody, he'll go on her show to uh to you know to um to talk about it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He tries oh, to keep his sure. show kind of clean, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Do drama on other people's shit. So. Once we chase him off, we can just go back into the uh the real mob content and just talk about, you know, the mafia well, stuff and everything, you know. Once you we know him, that there's once a, we get him off the air. <laughs> There's a way to um, like attach videos onto people's channels by like tagging them in it. You should tag his channel on those uh, interviews and shit. Then the articles he did, you know. So every time his channel pops up, them things are in the same you know feed, you know. Yeah, we got to get Tony so people can see that. what kind of scumbag he is. Yeah. Right. Every time his name pops up, you'll find an article or the interviews he did about the scumbag shit he did with you know unfortunate brother and shit. You know, fucking low life. Right. I yeah. can't stand he that can't, guy, man. He, he, here's another thing, right? You know, he can't even get a panel on his show. I mean, he had that uh, that Danny Smith guy, right? And he co-hosted with him, but he can't even get. Never mind. He's like begging people to be a co-host with him. Not even the 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 the, the Fatso in my area would go be a co-host. He begged him too. So it was like he can't get anybody. Never mind to be a co-host, but even to jump on his show and like like what we have ten guys down the other night. And uh, yeah. uh, uh, FBS said he's gonna do a show on Christmas. I bet you would have like, if he, I don't know if it can hold it. I don't know how many it can hold, but I bet you could have twenty guys jump on that night. Yeah, yeah. You ever notice when he does a show, he only speaks for about fifteen minutes, and then he brings somebody on to carry the rest of the show. Oh, he can't do well, a he show by himself. No. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he he's, can't carry he's the show. Still looking for a partner. Own. For a partner till this day, he's been reaching out to people. They don't even want to do it with him. Yeah, he's been through like five different uh, co-hosts so far, hasn't he? Like four or five, something like that. But but can you imagine that he brought this? Uh, I mean, the the best of everything on this mob tube that I've seen so far is that what happened between um, Danny Smith being exposed as to the Wash and Wear Bandit. It doesn't get yeah, any better cra- than that. You know what I'm no, saying? No, that's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, Method actor. God. Yeah, from That's England. Crazy. Yeah, that was breaking into houses, stealing underwear. That's fucking embarrassing. And it was all Lee's fault that he got caught. Yeah, yeah. it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. You, you, you sit next to that guy, man. It's like shit. You're gonna you're gonna grab all the flies too. Yeah, people start wondering right away. Why, why is this guy sitting with him? With Lee Cole. And you know what we gotta do? Anytime he does any mob shit, we gotta like pick it apart. Like after he's done with his show, we'll have one after, and we'll pick apart all the shit he gets wrong, which is a lot. Right, and, right. and we'll just let people know he's wrong about this. So who's better to know about what he's talking about than us? So right. we can analyze how shitty of a fucking mob content guy he is. But you know, I'm really surprised that his people that go on there and watch his show, like those people. I mean. Eventually, well, they're, they're invited to come up and, and, and listen to us uh, give commentary on Right. But I just, up. you know what I think is they just haven't done that. I just think, like, it was like, you know, if you're not really paying attention and you hear this guy come on, he's like, they probably think, oh, look at this this Texas fat slob. You know, they, they don't know he's a kidnapper. They don't know he's, you know, uh, a, a vicious, vicious kidnapper. The, the girl's lucky shit. They don't know none of this stuff about his brother's uh, situation. Well, and, um, the only time I think the if they time- found out, he would lose a lot of subscribers and a lot of people wouldn't follow him because it's 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 not even if you don't even like the guy, it's just common sense that you would uh, pick up on that. Yeah, we'll wait for his show. If he does a mob show, we'll pick it apart. If he does a wrestling show, we'll yeah. we'll, we'll invite a wrestling expert to help us out because obviously we're not like him. We're not going to pretend to know something we don't know nothing about. We don't know nothing about wrestling. Well, I don't anyway. Well, I know a little bit. Well, well, uh, the only reason why he, the only reason why he'll do a live is because uh, it's because we we said something about him 
and then he'll do a live, you know, to uh, to talk about what we said about him. And that's why the people go and watch because they want to see what he's got to say about us. Right. 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 Well, let's yeah, just pick true. apart it's a mob shit. Oh, he gets so yeah, much stuff wrong. Even even Johnny said it. It said that's what they say. And if you listen to them, they say that on that side. But if you can just be honest and just look at it, you know they're full right. of shit. You know, you got guys on that side calling guys rats that are rats. You know what I'm saying? Like they yeah. don't even admit <laughs> that uh, Gotti is an informant or a rat or whatever you want to call them. They won't even admit that. I mean, and anybody that knows anything about the streets, you don't even have to, you know, anybody that knows anything knows that that guy could never step in a federal penitentiary. He would get, unless he checked in the protective custody and that he would, he would get butchered if he didn't. Everybody knows that, that what a proffer means. We know what a proffer means. Every, and they won't even admit that. And then the <laughs> MRE stuff comes out about his case. And they won't even, you know, they look at it just like the kid last night. He's like, oh, I didn't know that. You see what he was saying? He was like, yeah, that doesn't sound good. He was throwing MRE under the bus. Yeah, that doesn't really sound too good. Now that you put it like that. Then he was throwing Lee under the bus. Well, I didn't know about all this stuff. Well, how do you, how do you got a wrench in a guy's channel? And you you don't vet the guy. You don't know his story behind or what he did. You just jump on the thing because uh, – and he's, he doesn't even care that he's attacking us. He just, you know, he just jumped in. Hmm. Yeah. Well, her cousin her cousin was an informant, too, on the uh, Gold Gold Club case. Yeah, and guy, testified the against Steve Cap. Yeah, he's testified against yeah. Steve Kaplan in that case. You don't hear her talk about that. that? Yeah. No. As, as, as soon as you hear the words – John Jr. and his attorneys contacted the AUSA. That's it. He's a fucking, he broke the rule. Yeah, he's no good. Yeah. 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 But that's, that, listen, that's like two plus two is four. That's just basic knowledge. Everybody knows it. And they won't right. even accept the fact of that. That's you know that's the saying? ABC of the fucking La Cosa right. Nostra. I mean, it's it, everybody knows that. It, you know, you did, how do you go from being a, a boss of the Gambino family just to saying, one day that you 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 you're uh you're chased, you're not around them people anymore. What happened? It just doesn't exist like that. Something happened. He, he put his father and his uncle on murders. On murders, yeah. yeah. Danny Marino, Johnny Gamarino, Joe Watts, Joe Watts. You know? Yeah. A cop. There was some cop or something and some uh uh John Daly. John Daly he put on and you know, the guy thing, was still Howie, alive too. You, you said a great thing last night, Howie. And I agree with you. I've said this from, you know, forever I've said this. We wouldn't even be talking about the brother if it wasn't for his half-sister going on this um, YouTube stuff and attacking people. His, his right. name would never even been mentioned. We, I always said, I agree with his decision. I give him a lot of credit for that. You know, for him to have a notorious father and get out of that life and look after his kids and he had money. I mean that was like a that was a great decision, you know, decision on his part. And then, you know, you you agree with it all, and then because of her, you know, not you know attacking people, she's the one that's putting her brother on blast. She's the one that people attack her father now because of her, and the trolls that she puts you know, on and these scumbags that she puts in platforms. You know what else was interesting in that proffer? The part when he was talking about how he uh, was gonna going to uh, buy that land to put up a uh, private uh, prison. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, in right, the Bronx, right, right? right? What was that about, Kamal? What, what's that? He was, he was trying to, he had a guy that was on, like, uh, some committee or something. They were doing a payoff for some uh, politician, and oh. he was going to buy some property in uh, one of the boroughs to uh, build a private uh, private prison, basically, to fund it and everything. So as, as as far as I know, I don't think anybody in the life would have appreciated him owning a piece of a prison that no, the uh, government no, was trying no. to put these guys in. You know what I mean? And then he's right. giving some guy shit for watching The Sopranos. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, what fucking kind of bullshit is that? It's like when we were in jail, you know, you had certain guys that would watch that TV show Cops. Yeah. Yeah. And the other yeah. half would be like, how can the fuck can you watch people arrest people when we were in jail? I never fucking understood that, bro. The day room would be filled with people watching cops. I'm like, why the fuck would you want to see people getting arrested and shit? You're in fucking jail, dummy. Prison, right? exactly. Right. exactly. Right. What the fuck? Man. 
Yeah, exactly. It's like, and and, and that's what it sounds like. You're gonna build a jail. Exactly. Right. That's 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 about the worst thing you could do, right there, in my opinion. Yeah, absolutely. And people's eyes are opening about the whole uh, situation with uh, with her brother because because of her, she's shining a light on the whole thing. You know, nobody really cared about her brother getting out of that light. The mob is pretty much dead from compared to what it was. She is putting a light on that whole situation and and what her brother did and it's common sense so when they say when anybody that goes on and she platforms say they don't like a rap well how you're a hypocrite because you're around the Gotti and the Gotti was a boss of the Gambinos and we all know that if you want to call him you know an informant a rat whatever term you want to use but but that's what he is look they changed the goalpost so many times that family it's unbelievable yeah. Like I know, old time is going back. They 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 regarded tow tow truck drivers rats because they work with the cops to take your cars. Or if you're a jail guard, you know what I mean. You you couldn't oh, that, be. Oh, that, Peter was, that, was that one without saying. Guard, that one oh, without no. saying. But I'm even. Somebody was a uh, Sal Vital was a jail. Guard. Even a sanitation yeah. worker. His his it, uh, a badge, got, yeah. Junior was hanging out with a uh, corrections officer too. It was like his main bodyguard. I forget the guy's name. I think it was like Steve something. Oh, the big guy that he, that he yeah, the big guy. Even? Yeah, 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 That's yeah. When they take he was the a he was a they... CO, right? That's yeah, they think because the they used to get free time. food, it's okay. These guys lock people up at night time. Right. Yeah, right. Well, it's like do as I say, don't do as I do. Uh, Vincent the Chin, you know, guys in my area, the boss of my area, he was uh, he pled guilty to being a, a made guy, uh, running the the crew, you know, back in uh, two thousand. His case was. Pled guilty to it in 2003. Because of it, I took everything from him. I took all of the street shit from him. And because uh, he admitted being a member of the Genovese family. So they, like, crucified this guy. And then, like, a couple years later, Vincent the Chen pleads guilty to running the whole Genovese family. You remember? Right, right. He admits being, a, you know, being a, uh, running the whole family on, on his plea deal. So it's like, that was I say don't do as i do punish that this guy, guy steve the... that guy steve and his brother they're both like fucking six six or something right those are the guys that fucking gave me up for stabbing the kid in front of the uh choices really yeah because him and his brother they used to uh bounce a lot for places they would have bounced they gave you up, they gave you up to uh jojo yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Hey guys, let me shout out real quick. DZ, $10. Happy holidays, guys. Happy holidays to you and your family as well, DZ. Otis Driftwood, same to you. Thank you for the 50. And Jimmy Calandra said, Angel Gotti smells like rotten eggs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, every now How about and when the guy said last night, we said, uh, she, I said, she sounds dumb. But she's not dumb. You see, he said, oh, she's not dumb. I said, I didn't say she's dumb. I goes, but she sounds like a fucking moron. And she's not that smart anyways. You know, she's not that brilliant. You know what I mean? She's got a lot of, you know what she, you know what gets her by? She gets, a, because of the name, she gets a lot of fanboys that will do her bidding for her. That's the only thing that gets her by, you know? Yep. Oh, I think she's an yeah. airhead for sure. Oh, yeah, for sure. And she yeah, sounds yeah, stupid yeah. as they come. If you hear her talk, I mean, <laughs> you, you have to buy earplugs to get a, or, or get the fuck away from her. I think I had a coffee with Dayton. I told you, they could use her voice to cure the uh, side effects from a Viagra. Yeah. You know, when you got longer than a four-hour boner, just turn her voice <laughs> up. I should have kill it in two seconds. Well, one one thing I will say. Can you pick me up a pack of cigarettes? You say an angel's <laughs> voice would make a, a guy on Viagra go limp. Right. Oh, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Wait, wait. Lee Cole, That's Lee like Cole, the anti-venom right there. Lee Cole <laughs> never took a Viagra in his life, and he says that you ain't a man if you got to take Viagra. <laughs> That's why he never gets yeah. laid. And the, and, and, and the only reason why Lee Cole is even still relevant in the YouTube world is because of Angel. She saved him. Well, yeah, yeah, you know what you're going to do right now. You're going to listen to us and go back over and say, hey, we were talking about you tonight like a little bitch, like a little three-year-old go to his mother because that's what he is. He's a big fucking – he's a big twat. She <laughs> said to him, she said, she said, Lee Cole, what's the matter? You look like somebody stole your gyro. They yeah, talked yeah. About you <laughs> she did, yeah, yeah, she did say yeah. that. that yeah. was funny. They talked about you getting <laughs> angel. 
and did, then he did come down that. and see me. Yeah, and, that and shit was then, funny. then he tried to say that uh, FBS put his daughter's picture up, and she said, "No, no, we, you told them to do it." Yep. Yeah. 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 She did. Everybody's do it. Really, she's giving it back to him. Good for her. Good for her. I give him. I give. I give Lion Lee a few weeks before he breaks from there and he comes to Chris FBS and uh and begs for for peace and you know get you know get him uh get him off the hook for old times' sake. Fast oh, like like fish. <laughs> Like yeah, I don't know about to... that one. Tom, can you do something? I'll take that thing? back. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that guy's got that in him, dude. He's too fucking stupid, you know. All nah. he had to do, all he had to do is uh, you know, say that the, the meme was wrong and, and, and say that she shouldn't have put that up. He just he couldn't even do that, you know? Yeah. Right. I'm not speaking well, for you guys because I can't. I'm not speaking right. for you guys because I can't, but I don't care if Jesus Christ comes off the cross and tells me to give that guy an interview. I ain't doing it. Sorry, yeah, Jesus, no. I can't. Of course. <laughs> Thank you, Frank. Yeah. That, Nobody's going to ask you to do it. That's, That's just me, you know? All of you guys, fuck that. Yeah. All right, that'll never happen. No, no I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta If he up. wants to interview me, he can come on FBS and debate me. No, no you you're giving him no. Don't even do that. Yeah. He can't win. If he comes on FBS to debate me, he can't no, win. No, we know he can't win. He can't win. He shouldn't be in the same screen with you. Let's bring him on now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Should I drop the link for Lee? Yeah, drop the link for that Texas kidnapper. All right. Here's, All right, the, come link. On. Here's the link, Lee Cole. You're not blocked on Come Street on, you or... coward. Come on, you coward. Choice, you got some balls, you Texas kidnapping coward. <laughs> you're not you're not blocked on StreamYard, Lee, so you can absolutely grab the link. Yeah. You know he's listening right now, too, for sure. He's listening. Oh, no, you're you're listening. Danny Come Smith on, we... ain't here to, to save you, Lee. It would be oh, I uh, showed them, Angel. I really did. Lee, give me the best Christmas gift ever and come on this yeah. show right now. Please, Lee. Come on. I'm pretty sure about Lee the came on right thing. now. I'm pretty sure if Lee came on right now, I'd probably make ten thousand dollars on this show. Come on, Lee, come on. <laughs> or get or get ten thousand views. Yeah. Or both. On, Lee. Or both. The Kaiser kidnapper. Where's he at? Come on, Paps. The lot lives come out to play. Lee. Lion Lee, Lee, don't say you're gonna pussy out. Lee, I, Lee yo, I'll Cole, tell you what, come if out Lee to came play. up with battle right now to debate. Come on, everybody. vagina boy. I would give him. I would have to actually give him a little bit of respect, just a little tiny sliver. Oh, of come on! Well, nah. nah. listen, I'm trying to get him on. He'll we'll, just come. Yeah, on. No, He'll I just come it, on to you say know that what? He took on five of them. I'll give him we'll credit. Send him a Kaiser he, roll. He, he'll be making your Christmas really nice, and that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. We're, we're trying to get him on. We gotta. You know. Come on, Lee. We, you, I promise. I'm not gonna give it to you too hard. Yeah. 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 Look, Jimmy yeah. Calandra, uh, Bath Avenue story said Lee Cole is the biggest piece of shit on the internet. Garbage can. Well, so, can. Jimmy, why don't you jump? You ain't kidding. You ain't kidding. Tony Duck yeah. said he has a C note on it if uh, Big Tuck shows up. Oh, shit. <laughs> there you go. You know, he's texting. Don't even. I'm surprised he didn't text you yet. Can I get a quarter of that? <laughs> he's probably calling. He's probably calling Gotti's stepdaughter. Should I go on? What do you think? She's like, no, no, they're gang up on you. Don't you dare. You'll embarrass us. Of course. He already embarrassed himself on my yeah. show a couple of weeks. But ago. no, no, no matter what happens, he's gonna go back and say that he kicked our asses. Of course. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, I don't even want to be on a screen with this freaking guy. But you know what? It is Christmas. I'll give him a shot. Well, we can abuse him a little bit and then throw him off, you know. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm in control, so no, no worries. Yeah. Why? Why do I got a feeling that Anthony's going to be the only one talking? <laughs> no, 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 text me and said, "Save this for tomorrow night." <laughs> oh yeah, right. <laughs> He's got some shit he wants to say to lead too. Look, Dana <laughs> Hard, uh, Ghost Tube said, uh, "Let's go, you fat fuck, Ali. Grab the link. <laughs> grab the link, you coward." <laughs> I'm gonna grab the link like he grabs him gyros. Lee Cole's landlord said, "FBS, if Lee comes on, can I join the panel to ask him about my forty bucks?" Oh, is he late on the rent? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> that's brilliant. Funny. Black Hat Music said, "LC three is just irrelevant, nothing to anyone." 
This is, listen, Lee, you made a big fucking mistake. I hope you realize that. Like, even I, if this was going on with Anthony and Howie and Frank, and this was about me and, and common sense too, I'd probably be like, uh, I, I this would actually bother me. <laughs> a lot of shit yeah. doesn't, but I'd be like, oh, yeah. me, man. I can yeah. have these guys attacking me every night. That sucks. Oh, Lee doesn't know how to pick his fucking battles. You know no. I mean? Well, yeah. he tried to make No, he so felt that he could pick on one and we go away. Right. Yeah. And then he'll say like, well, you you got it now. You want a video on you? Okay, you got yeah, it. Right, exactly. Like yeah, his video both that video. You're going to do the same shit all over again. Nobody gives a fuck about that. Did it? Yeah, did 300 he try people, that? 200 of them made them. Didn't right. he try that uh, tough guy shit with you, Howie? He still never put that video out, huh? I guess yeah. he knows better. <laughs> yeah. He's scared of Howie. He's he's yeah, petrified he of Howie. <laughs> yeah, he because he knows Howie. He knows Howie's like twenty five minutes away. That's yeah, right yeah, exactly. Howie shook. Yeah, he's shook. Sure. True. But he's scared of Howie right for other, he's scared of Howie for other reasons though too. Not only that, but he's scared of Howie. He's petrified. How, I gotta how fly about, into Lubbock when I go out there to, to go do what I gotta do. How about when he told uh, when he told Frank the other day? He says, uh, "Oh, Frank came on YouTube, and all of a sudden he thinks he's a killer." Not like, dude, you, dude why, why don't you go Google it? You fucking stupid. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what are you fucking stupid? He is a killer. Are, you fucking he, moron. <laughs> <laughs> guy, he is one yeah, stupid exactly. motherfucker. Let me come online and pick on some I, I, notorious mob like... hitmen, dude. That'll be a good idea. I think that'll work out right. good for me. You know. See, you that's what, one thing guys. I wouldn't debate him with. <laughs> you know. No, but it's just yeah. the fact that the guy's so stupid. Like he says shit and doesn't even know what he's talking about. You know what I mean? know. No, well, that's what I say. We gotta, we gotta discredit him every time we put something mob, mob up. We get no, together. No, no. We'll and we just abuse the fuck out of him, and then we'll kick him out. Well, that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, we'll we'll abuse him with the truth, and then we'll get we'll get we'll get somebody who has a speech impediment and see if they could say the word better than he does. Right. Where's fucking uh, Ramon? I just want to ask him a question. Trendy. How does he live with himself? How did he Where's Ramundi? We need to get fucking uh, Ramundi. Ramundi had a whole case We need to get Ramundi. You're guy. right. Yeah, we got to get Ramundi. His case folder he had for that uh, yeah. cinema. Lee, Lee ran from that guy. He was shook. Oh, yeah. Let's smoke up Ramundi's ass and tell him, yeah, you were really who you were. And then this guy's discrediting you. R Ramundi was going to give him a drug test. Yeah, that's what I heard. Too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's why he didn't show up. Then he said, would he get the pacemaker put in that day? Or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The Jimmy, Nicky, Nicky what a bullshit patch. fuck. Jimmy said Lee should come to New York so I can piss on him. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to need a lot of piss. And I'm He'd only two hours like away. That. I'll take another one afterwards. Look at this shit. Don Berlin said, Chris, here is $20 a minute for every minute that Leans and Levy's Lee grabs the link. And if he lasts five minutes or longer, I'll double it to $40 a minute for up to 20 minutes. Oh, oh, oh this shit. dude, this dude's a come piece on, of shit. Come on, get him on, get him on. Oh, now he's really get him on for that. Lee, I'll, yeah, tell right. you what, I'll tell you what. Take Don up on his offer, and you have my word. I will donate all that money to the charity of your choice. Kidnap victims. You don't have a charity, though. You don't have a charity. Fund. Well, it could go to the Kidnap Victims Compensation Fund. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> it could go to pay back some of his uh, outstanding liens and levies and shit. Oh, you'll be paying till. Oh, oh you'll pay pay years, his rent yeah, for the next for ten years. Yeah, I was gonna say that's like uh, forty dollars a month time for that's like two years worth of rent for him. Yeah, eight hundred bucks, twenty minutes, fuck. Yeah. Hey, you believe you believe he had the nerve to say that uh, that if you go to his where he lives, you're go it's gonna be at your own risk because oh, there's not there's not yeah, but old he's got women. A nice shot. Old, old yeah. women where he lives and they're all packing. <laughs> oh, oh my god! What's he living uh, in? Like a, a complex, like or a house? Uh, yeah, a complex. Like, complex. Complex. Apartment yeah, I complex. Figured that. Yeah. I, I, like a retirement yeah. community for the section yeah. of people. Exactly. Where somebody One should step get a fat up from suit. the trailers. You know what somebody should do? They should get a fat suit like him and fuck with one of the neighbors. And then, you know, next time they see him, they might be seen out and they'll just shoot him and be like, oh, that was the guy. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the guy that was peeping in our windows to get the ladies together and yeah, plug yeah, him. Yeah, one of those crazy time. rednecks and tell him that the senile ones and tell him he was robbing our money. Right. Just start hitting with a king. <laughs> <laughs> Filming it. That show would be hilarious. Now, that would be for the midget guy. I like the midget guy to go down there. But I'd like to yeah, know how he that got was a good one. how he got that speech impediment. You know, uh, I've, never, I've never heard. 
I've never heard an accent like that. Who, Lee? Yeah. It's probably from blowing guys for so long. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't doubt it, bro. I would not doubt he's had Lee a couple of Cole, of fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really dumb smoke to do the Rami impression. Where's the yeah. that's that's the uh, the times the Times Square tongue right there. That's I'm dropping the link in case Rami wants to come on. Right. <laughs> they used to call, sure he hung out at Greyhounds with a with a couple of Big Macs. Yeah, they used to call him the. Hey, little boy, you hungry? I I think it's because he's been in all these different states, and now it's like his he's all confused. Yeah, with the with the accents, you know. Well, he, I don't know. Uh, I've been a lot of places. Chased. My accent's still the same. I want to hear him say wish, wish just a sauce. <laughs> he just can't talk. Yeah, the the way he says uh, fourth is hilarious. Uh, fourth, shit is too funny. The fourth, the fourth. Hey, yeah. you too. <laughs> The fuck you is too, that? Chad D. Have a Merry Christmas. Hey, what's up, hey, Chad? Chad D. What's up, my man? Hey, Chad. Oh, shit. Chopper 500. Hey. Lee Cole, oh, this is for you. Merry you Christmas. Oh, my wow. man. Wow. Chopper did this last hey. year. That, I'm pretty sure. Up, Chopper? Chopper's the man. Chopper's the man. Hey, Chopper just ended it for Lee. He's going to have to go get another pacemaker. <laughs> <laughs> Chopper $500. <laughs> fuck Lee Cole. This is for you, bro. Merry Christmas all. Chopper. Right, Chopper. Thank you. Yeah, fuck Thank you, Lee, Chopper. So much. Lion Lee. That's you got some Chopper good people over my here. Fucking day. Oh, bro, we got the best oh, man. people, man. And it's yeah, only going to get bigger, and Lee's going to get blown off the air. Yep. Yeah. The Chopper's the man, bro. Merry Christmas to you, too, and your family. Be safe. Yeah, that's been organizing that Chopper. show where we get that fundraiser going for uh, what's, I don't know, whenever FBS wants, if he wants. What oh, yeah. I'm down. This guy is. Whatever you guys uh, want to do, I'm all for it, bro. I got your back, so you know that, bro. We just want to get that fundraiser, see that woman, yeah. give it to her. Oh, we'll get and, it. And all we we'll want is an interview. Yeah. We're going to definitely get it. How he so was, we, what yeah, was the I'm, I'm only I'm only 25 minutes away from her too. Well, listen, we could do an in person interview. Frank, That'd be uh, nice. Frank and um, uh, Howie, I sent you guys that email, a screenshot, right? You probably have her email address. Yeah, we do. Okay, but go. I mean, we need a we need a platform though. You don't mind using your? I mean, that's up to you. Uh, no, bro, bro. You listen. My platform is your platform. Everybody on the screen, you know that, bro. I appreciate it. Yeah, and I mean, yeah, it we'll go that route. We want to. We want to see his manner, how he acted, how was he a family man. If he Listen, wasn't, I'll, did he have a hit? I'll fly down. I'll fly down there and do the shit with you in person, just to put it. You want to do it? You want to do it? Who, who's better than you? You you you're good. You're articulate. You're smart. Oh Common yeah. sense. It'll be like a fucking uh, cross examination, bro. Jesus. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> you know what I mean? We'll put, we'll make, put it make out. Her, we don't want it to lie. We wanted to. Tell I just the truth want to know if he put if he uh, if he puts hands on her. That's what I want. Oh, I yeah, guarantee we'll, we'll, you that guy. Twenty questions, him. thirty questions. Oh, no. yeah. I guarantee you he abused. He that used weapons lady, on her. He didn't put sure. his hands. He used weapons on her and and guns to hold her at bay. To scare. I guarantee he's gonna reach out for one of you today. He's gonna say, "He knows it ain't me because I I want to go gung ho with it." And he's gonna go. Listen, I ain't gonna talk about that no more. Please tell him not to do this. I'm telling you. I want to hear more about this guy's uh, uh, lingerie. No, I don't care what he says. But me, it's on. I want to know if he stole Diana's Diana's underwear. You know what I mean? And B was abusing him on that. Yeah. Well, she said. I bet you you she has pictures of him. Like she came home from a grocery store and caught him in it. He was wearing her nightie or something, you know? (laughs) <laughs> yeah, like some Bruce Jenner, some Bruce Jenner type shit. He probably had her heels on and shit, fucking weirdo. You know. Well, that's the closest he's gonna get to a woman buying lingerie. Well, <laughs> doesn't it tell you a lot about him? This fucking jerk off. NB has control of his email. She has access to it. I mean, that's what a fucking simp he is. She probably is a pussy pick, and he was like, you could have access to anything. She's probably got access oh. to a fucking bank account. <laughs> she probably yeah, sees yeah. the all the porn sites he goes on. What a beta male <laughs> bitch! She, he needed her so bad to attack me that he probably told her whatever you need. She said, "Give me access to your email." He said, "Okay, no problem, guarantee it." What a fucking baby! Yeah, could you Where imagine you that? Nine ninety nine. I'll take a hundred of these guys over one Lee. Kick rocks, Lee. Thank you, Jesse Roth, for the nine ninety nine. Merry Christmas to you and your family. Yeah, Merry, Merry Christmas, Jesse. Jesse Roth. Merry Christmas, Merry Jesse. Christmas. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Unbelievable, this guy. 
Uh oh, I thought I was getting raided. Everybody there? What happened? No, yeah, some, no guy, we, we, some guy said he'll come on. We don't put with our face, so I guess we're gonna. I'll I'll, I'll jump on with you, Common. I mean, uh, oh, FBS. Yeah. yeah, he said we don't show our faces, so. Well, being an old man sounds awful, dude. I'll show I'll but, show my face if he shows. Yeah, his body. I mean, if 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 Lee uh, he shows his body, if he comes on, here we are. This is the funny thing, person. though. These these people are stupid. I've shown my face on here before. They just you have, remember. you have. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I'm not going to tell them where to look for it, but go fuck yourself, yeah. you fag. <laughs> yeah, you did it. That's it. And the only reason yeah. they want me to do it is so they can try to find out who I am to fuck with me. Let's just be honest. You know what I mean? Of course. Yep. Go fuck of yourself. Of course. You're smart you not doing I'm, that. You think I'm fucking stupid? Oh, now we're bullying an old man. I, know. Okay. Now he's well, I don't know. I, I think he's joking. This guy's a dickhead, though, but I think he's joking in this one. He said, bullying an old man sounds awful, dudes. Get common yeah. sense on the screen, Lee. I'll come on. I don't know. It, maybe it's I'll Lee like, under Oh, cover. maybe it is. Maybe he's uh, no, he, is, him to come on. Yeah, you know who that is? That's that British guy I had on here a couple weeks ago and debated. Oh, uh, so wait. The, the, the mob organized guy? Yeah, yeah. He's got a bunch of different channels. Bro. Oh, uh, that guy's okay. a fucking weirdo. Yeah, he is. Yeah, there's something wrong with that kid. That's one of I the didn't, finals, that boxing has I can't believe this Lee is not going to come on. What a coward. That kid, that kid showed up on Lefties like a week or so ago under some other fucking name. And I didn't know that the kid changed the name of his channel to like, uh, I want to talk or something like that. I don't, I don't even want to say his channel, but whatever. He changed his name from the mob organized thing to some other, I want to talk about it or something like I that. I want to talk podcast or something. Yeah, shit. some shit like that. And I'm in the chat. I'm like, dude, who the <laughs> fuck are you? He's like, oh, you, you know who I am, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I've never heard I want to talk podcast in my life. But then I found out later, somebody told me that this kid changed the name of his channel. So he was trying to like play one of those games. Like I was lying and, 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 and didn't know who he was. I didn't, I don't fucking watch this guy's show, you know? Right, right. He did some goofball shit. Kid's a weirdo. Yep. And didn't he come on here fucking crying about what money you make or something like that? He sounded like an idiot. Yeah. Is that oh, the yeah, same yeah, guy? Yeah. That was his big beef. Yeah. I'm, I'm, he oh, said, I emotionally, yeah. I emotionally manipulate people into giving me a super right, chat. Right, <laughs> right, right, right. The only person I emotionally manipulate is Jesse Roth. Everybody knows. No, we'll we'll spend you'll spend ten hours a day trying to put a show together just for these fucking morons without getting paid. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah. Hey, uh, hey guys, listen, I appreciate you guys having me on FBS, Howie, Anthony, Frank. I got a uh, dinner's up. I got the uh the wife. Are we gonna see me, you so tomorrow? I, run for a few. I got the uh, you know, the typical uh you know, Christmas Eve thing going on, but if uh, depends on what time, what time are you thinking of? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know, bro. I'm sure if I come on, uh, it'll pr probably be around nine. We'll probably stay on for a couple of hours. So, yeah, I'll be, I'll, 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 I'll pop on for a few at some point later. Even on if you day. could just come on yeah. and say hi, you know, what I mean, you want to get the whole fucking family. Yeah, yeah. And, and, yeah, yeah. And if you, if you don't, um, Merry Christmas to you and your family. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you, and Merry Christmas to you too, and. Next yeah, week bro. we got to go to Trevor, West Hartford. Yeah, I'm down definitely. Yeah, well, yeah, we'll. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll see you guys tomorrow though. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Merry Christmas, guys. I'll talk to everybody Christmas. in the chat. Take Merry care. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. All right, buddy. Yeah. Yep. You too, guys. Take care. Hey, uh, All right. Just Jeez. a real quick before uh, Dexter, not Santa Claus, only the Easter Bunny. He was dressed up as, but. Oh, Michael Moffa, yeah. four ninety nine. Merry Christmas, FBS and the Mob Tube family. Merry Christmas to you and your family as well, too, bro. Thank you for being here. Uh, tears, FBS, uh, bro, go change your trousers and underpants after seeing that $500 super chat from Chopper E. What the fuck? Yeah, it ain't. <laughs> Listen, I appreciate it very much. It ain't that uh, It ain't that deep. Uh, $500 is awesome, though. Fucking Chopper's the man. Yeah, but somebody even offered more if the, if the, if the liar would come on. But he didn't yeah. come on. Yeah, but, he ain't coming on. No, he was not coming on. He would have came on already. Yeah, absolutely. He listen. I wish he would, but you know, he's there's no chance of it ever happening. Look what it took to no. get him here just to debate me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So what are you guys? And, and, do for... and you and and you kicked his ass. Oh, of course. Yeah, I beat the shit out of him. What well, are you know? What you... It is, you know what it is too? Is it's like sudden death for him. You know, I mean, if he does that, 
it, all his mob fucking bullshit that he screws that's inaccurate. It, it, it's gonna be like we're discredited right on, on, on all three of us on um YouTube. He's done. You're right. Yeah. He knows yeah. that. We'll uh, kill him. We'll kill him with the truth. Yeah. Yeah. No, nah, for real. Right now he's looking at a way to make sure that we don't go ahead with that thing. But I'm I, I want to go ahead with it. Bad. We'll talk about it with the um with the uh. Call that woman up. Oh yeah. Well, if, he apo- if he apologizes to Frankie, maybe we'll ease up a little bit. No, no, no. no we gotta do it. Never. Oh, never. Stop. Never. One... oh yeah, and Anthony too. No, no, nah, we're, we're all in on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't accept apologies. It's too late. Nah, nah, it's uh, too late what, for that. What, what, not from him. You can from him. What if he sucks nah. on a banana? What no, he's, he's just gonna do what? shit again. He, 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 don't you understand? He's that guy who fucking hides in a nice, uh, secure place and sticks his tongue out. Yeah, he's got a yeah, ball on the floor. Pro- That's his only right. uh, way out. You're he's the carnival right. clown. Yeah, he is. He, you know, the guy right. the, tears. That is the biggest water tank. Yeah, tears. That is the biggest uh, super chat ever. Uh, Mark Choppery did the same thing last year, probably on the same day last year. So yeah, he knows how much I appreciate it. Mark chopper has been with me from the beginning. He's the man, and that five hundred dollars made my day. Thank you, bro. Yeah, yeah he's been with you for a while. Nice. Oh, yeah. Chopper's a, yeah, Chopper's a good dude. He's always been generous yeah. to me and Gunsmoke, SoFlo, everybody. Man, he's the man. Yeah, he's in Australia too. You know what I mean? Wow. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yep. A lot yeah. of deadly happy holidays, Chopper. Yeah, happy holidays, bro. Um, happy holidays. Yeah. This guy, uh, yeah, with Lee and shit, there's certain people where the it, apologies, it's just too late. You know, apologies. Yeah. Like, even like I said with Angel, like if she apologized about the things she said, I'd probably apologize about some of the things I said, but that's it. There's no, I would never be your fucking friend. I'd never be on right, screen right. with her. I hate her guts, period. Right, I'll right. never fucking forget the things that she did and said. Right, Same thing right. with Lee. You know what I mean? Lee is fucking... <clears throat> Flip flop so many times and stabbed us all in the fucking back. Right, you know right. what I mean? He's a fucking, you know, he's literally a mole, bro. He goes into, yeah. you know, he, he go, uh, Gene Barello said it. Gene was like, look, I had him, you know, talking to Angel and stuff for me and getting information and shit, you know, and that's what Lee does. He's a fucking truly bad fucking person. I said it yeah. before and I'll say it again. He is the worst motherfucking person on here, without a doubt. Wise Guy TV, Merry Christmas to you and your family as well, my man. Good to see you here, bro. I'll tell you what he's going to do. He's going to go on Angel's show and he's going to say they all attacked him. And then she's going to say, well, did they talk about me? And he's going to say, I heard your yeah. name mentioned, but I didn't hear exactly what they said. Yeah, he's right. going gonna to lead her to believe that you guys right. are. Or he'll lie. Nah, it's going to be well, more like lie. they even talked about you. That's what it's going to be like. Yeah, something like that. He wants her yeah, to, even to, to get Because he's off. a big vagina. But she, he doesn't know that she's got her plants already in here watching, so she'll already know if they said right. anything about her. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, they all watch. Yeah. Angel's probably probably plastered to the screen right now, too. You know what I mean? Yeah. For sure. So what are you guys up to for the Christmas weekend? I'm, I'm going, going to, to my sister's. Tomorrow. What'd you say, Frank? I'm at a friend's house tomorrow. Oh, okay, you're going to your sister's, Howie. How about you, Anthony? I know. Yeah, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be at my house. We already got all the fish, and and I'll be uh, tomorrow. It's Saturday, so uh, we're gonna miss a nice Saturday out. But it's still Christmas Eve, and we're gonna eat good here. That's good, man. Yeah. Listen, uh, I gotta end it because I got some last minute shit to do. But thank you guys. Yeah. Listen, I want all you guys to know, man. I, you know, I, I've said it to you in private and stuff, but you guys coming on here and shit means the world to me. Don't ever think I don't appreciate you doing this. You know what I mean? This is yeah. great. You guys are oh, great. Thank company. you for having us as well. Listen, you know, this, yeah. And and, and FBS, you're gonna do something before uh like tomorrow's what, Christmas Eve? We're gonna all jump on. Like, yeah, uh, bro. I would love to any night. Yeah, we gotta do something just to, you know, wave the flag and let them know, you know. Yeah, absolutely, uh, bro. Big mom the wagons. Thing. Yeah, that's what yeah, I, yeah, I yeah, love yeah. for all you guys. Even if you can only hop on for a minute or two. Yeah, yeah. You know in I mean? and out. Even Bill uh, Kudalo said he's coming on. Yeah, he's going to come on, bro. It'll be great. Man. Yeah. But listen, yeah. you guys have a good night. FBS, always a great show. And uh, and we'll hopefully we'll talk tomorrow, you guys. 
All right, sounds good. Yeah, likewise, definitely. likewise. Yeah, yeah. All right. Have All right. Howie and Frank, I'm around if you want to call. I ain't going out tonight, so I'm around. All right, buddy. Oh, okay. All, All right. right. Cool. All right, you guys. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye bye. All right, All right FBS. Guys. Talk to you later. Yep. Have a good night, everybody. You too. All right, guys. Uh, it shows like that, I never want to end. You know what I mean? But I'm sitting here looking at the time. I'm like, the fucking mall closes at 9 because, of course, I am going back out, even though I said I wasn't. The mall closes at 9. I got to go to fucking Walmart. <laughs> so, I got a whole ass. But uh, my beautiful wife is in here, Shanna, who I love so very much and I can't wait to spend Christmas with, said, uh, Merry Christmas to our wonderful MobTube family. Yes, she loves you guys just like I do. We're all a big fucking family here, all of us. And we're going to have an awesome Christmas Eve show. I can promise you that. Thank you guys for Chopper, my man. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for that $500 donation. And everyone else, everyone who donated, thank you very much. You made my Christmas weekend a little brighter. Now I got some more money I can go spend on Shanna, you know? So thank you guys for everything. Merry Christmas to, to you and all your families. I'll see you again, of course, before Christmas Day. But, you know, you never know. I just want to say it just in case. All right, guys. Thank you for everything. I love you all. And until next time, salute.